Ahoy, wonders, and welcome back to the table. Uh, so, uh, Eloy's in dire straits. Hey, hey, guys, you know what spell could have saved Eloy's life? What spell? Fly, you fools! Ah, ah yes. <laughs> what level is fly? Is that a third level spell? That's, that is a third level, but... If, if Red don't know it, Eloy sure don't. He'd have to get up to level six and learn magical is secrets. Is it just like Ooh, Dragon Ball more. Fly? Is that just what it is? Like what, or is it just it's called that? Think it gives Doctor you a, Strange flight. Yeah, it gives you a flight speed equal to your land speed, basically. That's awesome. Yeah, it's third level is where the spells get real good. Uh, that said, Eloy doesn't know that one, nor, uh, as a bunch of people have been asking, he could have learned Featherfall. That's a first level bard spell. But didn't. Yeah, he only has so many uh, known so spells. So many spell slots. And that, that one just seemed so situational. I didn't want to waste one <laughs> on something that would never come up. What am I going to need this for? I'm on the ocean. <laughs> Water breathing, that's what I need. Lo and behold, <laughs> underwater is where your falling has <laughs> taken you. Yeah, in a weird way. All right, so leaving us off on this bridge hanger. Yeah. <laughs> yup. Hanger? Hey, if I'm hanging, I'm all right. My understanding <laughs> is I am airborne at this point. You are airborne at this point. All However, right. I do wish you... Actually, you know what? Before we get to you, what are your two responses? Wake's immediate response to seeing Eloy fly off is to slam his trident into the floor, yell at Ezra, bolster it, and dive. You are, as I recall, perpetually tied to your trident. Yep. Yes, this is true. All right, well, in response to that's, that... That's a bad omen. <laughs> <laughs> Great. No, this, this looks good. Oh. <laughs> Never uh, mind, I'll take, vis I'll take visual representation as the role. No! <laughs> <laughs> Please don't, it's strapped to my waist. <laughs> <laughs> and there, go there goes Wake. Wow, this is going farther than... Oh, no, half, my God, no. half my body's gone. Man, 30, uh, 30 feet is a lot further than I... Oh, no. Does, <laughs> does that work for any visual representation? Can I just go... <laughs> oh, look at that, he's safe! Uh, <laughs> Good job, Elo! <laughs> well, okay, in hearing... Uh, like the real world running, rolling in that one. In, in hearing Wake's panic, bolster it! Uh, I guess Ezra would... <laughs> Not being a strong man at all, <laughs> would just be like, uh, okay, and just try to grab hold of the spear and which hold is, it into which the ground. Which is why I'm going to attempt to jam it into the stone foundation Roll as athletics. hard as I can. Uh, athletics 16. Just. Whoosh. Yeah, you just hear a sturdy clunk as it goes into the floor. Right. And then I just dive over. All right, well, we're, how about you roll me in athletics? Are you going to actually do yeah, it? Yeah, I'm going to try and attempt to hold. Because huh? I don't really have a lot of other things I can do to help. <laughs> a seven. Whatever helps, helps. Yeah, like, you're, yeah, you're you helping. Know, yeah, you're I'm, helping. Just, I'm there. I'm also looking over the ledge going, what are you doing? <laughs> you rolled a seven. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. You. Yes. Roll me an acrobatics check. All right, that's something I'm all right at. Ah. 15. Okay. Okay. I, when I looked at your die, I so, two, and I was like, So, let oh, me no, do a couple no. of rolls, and then I shall paint you all a picture. Yay! Oh. Fuck me, not one. First roll. All right, great. All right, that could be that's, real good that, or real that could bad. Be good. That could be for the... That, that was a that nat one on the rope strength. And okay. <laughs> hey, that could be for the, the trog trying the to grapple yeah, me. Yeah, the trog that, that's hanging on to him. Okay, well, so let me paint this picture. Okay. The Trog realizing that he took someone with him but then realized, oh wait, that's a drop, <laughs> reaches his hand out to claw at the bridge, Nat ones and misses completely. Okay. You rolled high enough that you can bolster a uh, grappling onto him without, so like pretty much, you even peels yourself to like get like the same height as he is. He grabbed you, but then you were able to like make it your grab now. <laughs> okay. So you tumbled it around. So, like, so I'm like, the fuck off you. So now we're at midway, like halfway drops. So like 15 feet has passed. <laughs> That's no, a lot of feet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I actually apologize. I'm thinking it in squares. So five feet have, has passed. Okay. Okay. Five feet has passed. 
You are slow motion. Yeah, you pretty much have flipped the tables around, and now you are above and pushing him down to the floor. <laughs> you slam Whoa. your spear into the ground. Whoa. You tell Ezra Whoa. to grab it. Whoa. You Whoa. leap off and swing down. You put you press your weight onto it. <laughs> the weight was so. Fast and so and so like just, I apologize. I'm not getting this correctly. You you hold on to it. Did I hit it so fast? I knocked it out of its. No, you didn't knock it out of its place. It did push you though. Okay, all right. So it bounced me back. It bounced you off. So roll me an acrobatics check of not falling off. You got it. Oh jeez. Uh, um, seventeen. Yeah, you're Ooh. fine. Now we come to you. We yep. you now watch as Eloy and this Trog are now like look like they're ready to punch each other as they go down. And you're swinging. You based on how far you jumped down, since you're doing this of your own accord. Yeah. You you dropped your speed. You're probably like ten feet ahead of them as it comes to the drop, and it's making its right, little so swing. So you're about ready. You're now just getting under him, and you're re he's ready to like just make the circumference complete. Yeah, my, my goal is to swing around, like grab him, and swing back around the... Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> if possible. Hey. Explain to me what you're going to do. Oh, I dove, so I'm hoping that my forward momentum will allow me to catch him as he's falling, and then... That momentum will further, like, you know, his added centaur donkey weight will further pull us down. Hopefully, my spear won't fall from its area. Like, it will be, it'll grapple and stay true. And we will continue to use that momentum to swing ourselves back around to the other side of the uh, bridge. Your response. I'm just, I see weight coming at me. I'm just grabbing on for him for dear life. I'm not going to let you do that. I'm going to say you currently are... Now, toe-to-toe -to -toe with this trog midway, so your focus is purely on the trog at this point. Oh, okay, so if the trog's still on me, then yeah, I'm... You, you now have just gained the upper hand on the trog, but you're still falling. Okay, yeah, I'm... Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm... Use him as a stepping stone, jump off of <laughs> So I'm, like, above the trog, but we're still grappled you, No, you are currently now evened out with the trog. Okay. You, you've, you've made this from a bad situation to a decent situation. <laughs> you've neutralized it. Okay. My, my first priority, then, is going to try to get my arms free, because that's... I see there's something up there that's looking out for me. I want to reach for that. <laughs> Roll me an athletics check to gain up uh, advantage over this character with a disadvantage. Ooh, your athletics is as bad as mine, so... That'd be a five... Roll the nat one, you gain the upper hand on the trog. You are now pretty much using him as a stepping stool at this point. Yeah, this guy's <laughs> fucked up. Oh no. You, roll me an acrobatics check. One of my better checks. And a 19 on the die, uh, so that's a 27. Oh, okay. You make the complete circumference and you are now underneath Eloy and the trog. Oh no, so you I'm are, catch him by now. You are pretty much about to sandwich in between them. I needed his momentum to make this work. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> what are your next moves, gentlemen? Your move, and then you tell me what you're gonna do. Am I still like and you are, from being knocked down from the spear or something? Or? Uh, do you? Do what do you want to do? I'm just asking if I have an opportunity to do something. You do. You do have an opportunity okay. to do so if you wish to do right. something. I, I will be considering all these guys away their options. Oh, and by the way, while time is passing, you hear another click from the ballista off to the distance. It's loading. Well, okay. <laughs> With that information, I'm going to try and scan the area and, or wait, did we see the, the thing shooting at us? You already? saw the thing shooting at uh, you. It's, the, you have no way of reaching it, it even like with the crossbow. Yeah, we got yeah, thrown yeah, by okay. a rock. Yeah. Right, that's right. It threw a rock at us. It was a big rock. <laughs> Shit. Well then, no, uh... Oh boy. Tick tock, gentlemen. I feel like I explained myself pretty well. So whose turn is it? Like if it's we're on him right now. Okay. Just say oh, we're something on me. Quick. Yeah. Okay. Well then, I go to just try and rebolster the thing. Like I'm just gonna run back up to that spear. Athletic check. It. Two. <laughs> you trip and fall in front of it. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. All right. So you're gonna. What are you gonna do? Trying you, to catch Eloy. Do you want to just go for Eloy? All right. What do you want to do? 
I'm well. If I'm free of the trog now, I'm just grappling at at wake at the rope at anything that I is feel, within. I feel like if you won that grapple, you have managed to push that trog away somehow. You can push him away, uh, but so you, you if you want to aim for him, so it's either you push the trog away or you aim for him. Uh, I'm aiming for him. <laughs> okay. All right, both of you roll me a. Uh, you roll me in acrobatics. You roll me in athletics. It'd be the other way around. I'm the one catching him. All right. You know what? That's fair. I will allow that. <laughs> Either way, uh, 25. 23, if it's acrobatics. All right. The timer has gone away. You might have a trap. The, the trog's like, oh, I don't care. As long as I'm taking you. Wait, no, what? No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> no. So you have successfully caught him. You watch as the... With the combined weight of now uh, Eloy being captured and you holding on to him, you feel a considerable tug on the string. <laughs> because of him not being able to bolster it down, it kind of jerks and almost tilts to the side. You feel your weight be pushed down. I gotta roll for the trog. That's not a good thing. Roll me a dexterity save. All right. Eleven? The trog beats you and grabs onto one of your back hooves at the last second, and the weight pushes oh, it down no. all the way. Roll me an acrobatics check. Or him an acrobatics? Yeah. Okay. Oh, to like run and grab it, yeah. probably? Because you, not, watch, not so you watch as the staff it, but just get a hold of it. hits the floor and starts sliding off. Whew, that was almost <laughs> a one. Uh... 19. 19? Ooh, ooh. Yep. So you feel your weight. You feel not only the extra weight pulling you down, you watch as the rope is just continuously falling, and then uh, it that's stops. That's more slack than I want. <laughs> yep, way more slack than you wanted. You are now beyond the end of the bridge, and you watch as the stick reaches the end, and then you see two hands grab the stick at the end. <laughs> Roll athletics. Are Barabbas and them around? I don't remember. They ran they ahead, man. They, they ran ahead. Ahead. Okay, that's right. Come on, we're counting on you. <laughs> Athletics. We're counting on you. Use your Captain use your Muscles mind. with a nine. <laughs> Am I tumbling down with you, boys? Because I wouldn't let go. Use your dad's strength. Come on. <laughs> it's your crew. You're not going to. I believe in you, Ezra. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so That's 15. A 15. That saved it. <laughs> that was that was almost a total party wipe. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, that was almost a total party wipe. Well, we're not out of the woods yet. We did hear another click. Well, before we get into that, there is now a trog clawing at your leg to try and use you as a support. Question, are we still doing the momentum thing that I was planning? <laughs> yeah, it's going okay. back. It's going oh, back, okay. but you're, you're not you're in control of it limit. anymore. Right, what I'm, part of Eloy am I holding onto? Is it his arms or his legs? You grabbed him by like his torso. Oh god! <laughs> okay, I'm just I'm just like kicking at this trog like no nah, man. <laughs> if it's one or the other of us, I know which one I choose. Uh, Alright. Question. My legs are free. Can I attack the trog with disadvantage? Ye mm. Hmm. I would ask you to roll me. Hmm. <laughs> That's kind of tough, because the trog is so far down that you might okay, just end up kick Eloy. Well, I mean, that's where the disadvantage comes in, really. But. Exactly, that's what I mean. That's why I'm trying to, like, path this around. Like, how could we work this? Let me just double-check something. Because I can, I can see this, work, this role working. It's just that i got to think of the consequence. Right. I have an idea. Well, I'm not letting go of Eloy. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> that's, not, that's not being contested here. I have an idea when I can do something again. Okay. Roll me... An athletics check with disadvantage. Athletics with disadvantage, okay. Versus... Wow. Uh, that is a 22. Okay. Uh, you hit something, and then you hear a... <laughs> as your foot connects with its face. Roll, roll a uh, attack damage. Okay, rolling damage. That is... Two, uh, plus five, ten damage. Okay. You, you knock it really good square in the teeth, but he's 
still hanging on. What are you gonna do? You you watch as as you you watch as oh Wake's foot collide with his face. You, you s- hey, Larry. <laughs> uh, so he's he's grabbing him by the like the hind hoof. Yes. I'm I'm just gonna try and like s- use that that moment of pain and distraction to try and just slip that hoof out out of his grasp. All right. Roll me a. If you're trying to get out, that'd be sleight of hand. Or de- or dexterity. It's, it's, yeah, it's a dexterity grapple I'm, check, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I'm fairly sure grapple is either athletics or acrobatics. Yeah, that's fair. Acrobatics. Well, it's, de- it's dex. Mm. Eleven. Nah, he beats it. He's still on. All right. The weight is now starting to pull you forward again. You are now going backwards. You can see the very bottom of the bridge just within your grasp. Is the uh, athletics check to hold on? So I was gonna say uh, is. Am I just holding the rope? Is that what I'm doing? No, you or got the it... fat end of the blade, like right here. So yeah, you're holding. Yeah, the... you're trying to hold on to the staff and like get it like reposition, like okay. just get it gripping on. I have the bridge. a hammer. I'm going to try and hammer the spear into the ground, to, like like the, the pointy end back into like a <laughs> a spot on the ground to lodge it in stronger. As you're like leaning back. Mmm. Like, and if that doesn't work, I also have pittance to just hammer the rope itself into the thing. Hmm. Which one do you want to do? Uh, I'm afraid of cutting the rope accidentally by trying to hammer a point yeah, you, through you, it, so yeah, I'm going you, to go for the spear. Also, if you're hammering the pins, that means you let go of the staff, and that's yeah. probably not great. Yeah. Yeah, fair. All right, sleight of hand me to get the hammer. Okay, that's fair. Uh, 17. 17? Yep, you're double proficiency in sleight of hand. It's so really coming in handy. You watch, you watch as the hammer just like leaps out from your back pocket, and you just grab it. <laughs> just, yeah, you like kick. <laughs> okay, hold on. So I'm, I'm assuming I'm gonna swing at the. Uh, never mind. That what doesn't work. I was gonna be like, Scaffy, hold this, but he's got nothing to anchor him to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scaffy is of no help here again. <laughs> All right, so swinging that hammer. So you're so. Explain to me how you're going to hammer this thing into the earth. Okay, so I have like I'm I'm holding the spear, right? Yes. Like, I'm I'm going to for for sake of argument be like holding the spear like this as I grab my hammer. My hope is to just go over the top and slam it into the ground. Okay, that's going to be an athletics check with disadvantage. <laughs> oh man, you would have just normal had a normal athletics check before. <laughs> But this, but if I succeed, it gets lodged into the ground, and I don't have to worry quite as much. Fair enough. Yep. Yeah, it's kind of a <laughs> death or glory maneuver. I'm into it. How much do you believe in him right now? I don't know how much bardic inspiration he's got to spare at this point. Uh, actually, no, we just did a long rest before this. No. I, I have never believed so hard in anybody, Ezra! This is your captain speaking. A nat Ooh. 20 on one of them! Oh, oh, oh. Can't be worse than that, or can't be better than that. I was going to say, uh, it certainly can. <laughs> oh, that is slightly That's worse. much worse. Well, In- add the bardic inspiration. Yep. That's what it's there for. We got an eight. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. <laughs> <laughs> Went from a nat 20 to a three on the die. <laughs> Wait a minute. Would a hammer be considered a thief's tools? <laughs> Get you that I've, proficiency bonus? I've seen thieves use those before. <laughs> Breaking and entering. <laughs> it's typically a two-fold op- operation. You're lucky I'm fucking nice. <laughs> okay, well that would uh, add my proficiency to it. Yes. So that would uh, bring it up to a 12. Above a ten. Yeah. I am far too fucking nice. <laughs> I am far too fucking nice. You lose the hammer. That's fine. I'll buy another. <laughs> Ting. Oh no. Wake, what's your AC? My AC? Yeah. Oh, this is about to get taut real fast. It's an eighteen. How? How? What it, are the odds? It doesn't, you just hear, it, by the rush of just 
adrenaline by what's going on, you completely like just let this <laughs> thing bash you in the head and nothing becomes of it. As <laughs> as a hammer fucker. goes down. Now, hold on. <laughs> it was rubble from the bridge, couldn't be avoided. What is your AC? Uh, 15. Double clocks us on the way down. Two points of damage. <laughs> what the fuck? And for the trog? Hey, if this knocks the trog off, it was all worth it. <laughs> the hammer just nat 20 a trog. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Ezra the hammer, Lockwood. The hammer, brother. <laughs> oh! I'm not going to ask about the physics of this. I'm just going to enjoy the ride. <laughs> <laughs> Some rules lawyers are going to get super mad at me right now. I don't give a <laughs> fuck. This is Let great. Em. Let them get mad. You hear a... Bah! And all of a sudden, it gets way lighter. You can, yeah! hold, you can hold on to the staff a lot better. Hey. You feel like you just lost a whole bunch of weight, and you watch as a voice kind of... You hear a voice linger off to your left as it goes down further. All right. Has the uh, has the rope gone taut at this point? Like, we're it's are we taut. swinging or Wait, like, you're you're now just reaching the end of your momentum. You can grab the very bottom of the bridge if you reach for it. All right. This is probably going to be a massive athletics check to try to hold on to Eloy and to a smooth surface. Yeah. All right. Mm, modified twenty. I'll allow it. You gravel on. <laughs> Climbing is going to be another scenario because you're holding on to one thing and holding on to this at the same right. time. I've, I've got 50 feet of rope and a grappling hook. You can just climb me. <laughs> Roll acrobatics check to throw that shit. Ooh, uh, 23. You watch as a hook comes in and... I grab it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and, try, and try to basically lasso it around the thing to give it Acrobatics anchor. check. I, that I can do. Hopefully. 17. Not as good as I was There hoping. goes your hammer, but in its place is a grappling hook. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. All right. I'm, I'm going to try and hoist myself up, off, up that rope and get myself back up onto the bridge. All right, I need a combined athletics check from you two. You're still holding him. <laughs> holding weight as, as he's climbing. 18. Oh, boy. Does my 18 make up for that in any way? Let me roll a severity check. Okay. I gave you a chance. I gave you a fucking chance. E Let it be known! Eloy does not fudge dice rolls! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you use the grappling hook <clears throat> to... You use the grappling hook to try to climb yourself out. It looks like it's starting to work. You loosen your grip on him because you feel like it's going to happen. And then you get some massive rope burn and slide back down. Roll another a athletics check real quick. Oh, trying to grab his... Yep. Okay. Uh, damn, this dice has been very kind to me lately. Uh, that is a... 24. You grab him. You take six points of burning damage going down. That shit stings your hands. That's a hell of a rope burn. <laughs> yeah, your, your hands it are bloody now. I've been getting hit in the head with a hammer. Speaking of which, <laughs> a falling hammer. Speaking of which, of getting hit with things. Yeah. <laughs> I figured that's not a good sound. Hey, can we speed this up? We got incoming. Technically, I have cover. <laughs> <laughs> That cover's gonna be going away real soon if this lands. <laughs> what are all of your ACs collectively? 15. 18 with cover. 15? I mean, I'm behind, I'm under a bridge, technically. How much? 15. Okay, well. <laughs> Everyone except Wake is taking bludgeoning damage from this hey, as the right. rock slams against the bridge and shatters into a million fucking pieces. Guys, I'm having bad flashbacks. <laughs> it's all right, Eloy. Just... We got this, Eloy. The hard part is 
technically over. Oh. Lay back and think of Eber Call. Oh, fuck me. All right, that was one roll. Next roll, okay. Why is this happening? <laughs> Mr. Stick, you got anything that can help? 23 points of damage. Jesus! All right. 23 points of bludgeoning Te damage. Wait, technically you can half that. Oh, yes, I did oh, see yeah, it coming in. Oh, yeah, on a reaction, in. yeah. So I use a... Uh, yeah, my uncanny dodge. So oh, I boy. Got out of the way of a couple of those rocks, you I guess. got hit by a bunch of the rubble. That technically was what I was saying. Like, oh, it, okay. it hit the side of the wall, and the rubble was what hit you guys. Ah, so he dodged some of the rubble. Yeah. However, you do feel your legs give way as your weight is shifted upwards, and it pulls the weight back down with you. So am I getting yanked off the bridge? No, no, no. You hammered it back in. Okay. So I need you to roll me an athletic check to hold on to the staff. Well, technically, the staff's bearing no weight right now. <laughs> Four. Ah! You're giving me all right off the edge. All the worst Bell. rolls. Yep. Guess what? There's a bunch of rope that you can grab. Yeah, no, yep. I, that's what I'm gonna reach for, I guess. That'd yeah, be I need you to roll me a acrobatics check to grab the rope. Cool. I believe in you. <laughs> I'm burning through all these fucking inspiration dice. But you know what? I can't think of a better time at the moment. No. Uh, twenty-two. Okay. You grab it with ease. Yeah, so you're yeah. just like you watch. So you know, like in cartoons, where the guy just like watches the edge, uh -huh. like sits in the air for like five seconds, realizes, looks to the camera, and then grabs the thing. Yeah. that's yeah, what you do. Meme. All right, I'm gonna climb back up on top of the bridge. Yeah, everyone, everyone, roll an athletics check. Okay. Uh, I've got second story work, which lets me climb with acro. Er, er, uh, Since with you're so close to the check? top, I'll allow it. Yeah, that's my <laughs> second eighteen in a row. Damn. Uh, well, I guess my fourth of the night though. Uh, Twenty-four. 22. You two get up to the edge where Ezra was. You make it up with no problem. I got a 14. Yeah, you make it up with no problem. Okay. I'm going to undo the rope since I am now secured <laughs> under the bridge. <laughs> grab yep. my staff and just kind of coil it around my arm. Coil the rope around my arm. All right, we should uh, run. Yeah, I All right, sprint. Let's run. <laughs> oh, there's that alt character I rolled. <laughs> <laughs> I'm alive! <laughs> For now, <laughs> run! <laughs> yeah, we're not out of the woods yet, Eloy. It's okay. We got a printer back there. If I need to uh, make another one of those, <laughs> I was about to say. But the way you've been rolling tonight, I think that was preemptive. <laughs> Might get a chance at having a swashbuckler yet. If nothing happens to Eloy. <laughs> All right, we're uh, we're gonna we're just gonna go fucking book it. Yeah, yep. everyone else kind of made it at the edge at Good this point. Good for them. Wow, I, I'm, I bet they're real happy. <laughs> They kind of are because they're fighting trogs right now. Good, good. You know what? They're at least they were distracted. If they were just sitting there watching that whole thing go down, no, I'd be a that's the mad. reason why they didn't help you. <laughs> a couple of trogs came in from the other end and started coming at them. And well, you know, they're kind of preoccupied. Yeah. Even Caster's in there punching some in the face. Hey, good mm. on him. At least he's doing something. All right, boys. Well, I. <sighs> Roll Lying. athletics. Barrel in there. Athletics. That's 17. That's great. That's a 11. 14. For once, I'm the most athletic in the group. You make it across with no problem. You two, unfortunately, yeah, I'm, are I'm busy, like, coiling my rope. Fuck, don't want to lose this shit. Yep. Well, unfortunately, you're watching as a rock comes at you. Oh. Uh, Wiley Coyote sign, eep. <laughs> now you both start. You both started to book it, even with like the broken rope. You you just like grabbed it. And was like no, fuck this, I'm out. However, you go. You both kind of uh, since you both came up the uh, the bridge uh, last because Ezra kind of made it first. He got a way of a head start before you guys, so he's Man, not getting hit to by this. Rope and <laughs> the good I, news is I pulled you up and I just like leave it. And just started Bye. <laughs> the good news is is that it's not three D twelve. That is good. It's one D twelve. Is this technically a missile? Yes. Cool. All right. I'm oh no. <laughs> Let's go. 
A missile, uh, if you're going to do something now, let me know because the missile's going for the bridge. It's not going for you specifically. This is oh. rubble. Oh, ah. well, I'll, then I'm running. I'll throw this out there as well. Are they needing to make attack rolls to, to fire these at us? They're not attacking you. They're attacking the bridge. This is this pretty is much equipment. everything else. All right. and, but you know what? Since you did bring that up, I will actually allow you guys to make me a dexterity saving throw for okay. this. That's something I'm better yeah. at. Since you are standing yeah. on solid ground. Uh, 22. <laughs> 13. Yeah, you're taking hits. You, uh, su you succeeded, so you're taking half this. Okay. But it is a missile. Just hitting the bridge. The, the, it's you. hitting the bridge, okay. and the shrapnel is the missile. The, the, okay, the, the broken block, rocks. I can, still, I can still block some of that. Yeah. Go, monks! All right, so everyone is taking nine points of damage. You're, you're taking nine points of damage... You're taking ha six. I'm, yeah, I'm taking what well, half. Yeah, half that, that, but it's rounded up. So five. that'd still be five. 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 Yeah. You know what? Yeah, fine. Fair enough. Five. Uh, Dex plus monk level. So monk level five. I take zero damage. Oh, <laughs> there you go. I'm not feeling well. I'm not. I may have torn up that sheet prematurely. I'm limping. I'm still I'm, up. Uh, as, so as Eloy and I are running, I shove a healing potion in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that would force you to stop and do that. Yeah, that I'm is an Because I wasn't oh. done explaining oh, myself. Okay, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Little preemptive there because as it hits the bridge, it completely breaks the piece that was there. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Stop. The bridge We're is now the middle of the bridge is now gone and falls to the f and falls beneath you. So there's like a gap between us. Yes. Oh no. No, not between you. Like behind you. Okay. Like, so, so that, yeah, it's crumbling behind us. We okay. can't we can't go backwards anymore. We can't go back this way. I'm so I'm grabbing whatever piece of rope was still in my hand. I'm not stopping to gather anything up or do anything. I'm just holding onto it to try and like keep this rope and grappling hook with me. The second I feel any resistance, I'm dropping it. It's not that important. You have no resistance on it whatsoever oh, okay. at this point. But yeah, if I can kind of like just keep a hold of it while I run. I'm just booking it. You just got a couple of shovels of rocks to the back of the head as you were running. That's pretty much how this went down. Gotcha. You make it to the opposite end as everyone else is finishing off the trogs that are still there. Oh, good. They're finishing them off. I was like, great. We get you to run into this into combat? <laughs> awesome. Roll perception <laughs> okay. check. All of us? No, just, just uh, Ezra. Yeah, he right. made it there first. Oh, yeah. That makes you sense. You and I are still running for our lives. Uh, 17. They're climbing up the walls. The trogs are? The trogs are climbing up the castle wall. They're oh. not there yet, but getting inside might be the best idea at this point. Yeah. <sighs> okay. You're watching as these two, like, they're yeah, getting yeah, they're, rained they're, on with rocks, but they're, they're making it across. Yeah, they're barreling towards, and, like, the walls around me, I see trogs crawling up them. Yep. Um. So, I have... In my little bag. Let me see if there's anything better than this for it. How many? Can, did I like? You happen to have an idea of how many are climbing up the wall? With your current roll, yeah. a number. Just a number. Of too your, many. Just, the, yeah. Too, okay. Too, a too, lot. All right. Then never mind. It can't I, be described by a number. It can be described with too many. Okay. I'm. I'm gonna throw it out there and say a whole number, not a fraction. Okay. Uh. You said, and since we were running up, we could we could spy our crew seemingly finishing up their job. Yes, that they were doing. Yeah, they're stabbing their way into the castle. All Pretty right. much. Uh, as you as you're looking in front of you, there's an iron gate that's above them. Mm -hmm. uh, they're just making their way inside and getting rid of the trogs that are behind that. I'm surprised they didn't okay. close that. These trogs. They are didn't real leave bad you behind. They would have left you behind to no, fall the off the bridge. The trogs. I'm surprised the oh. trogs didn't close the portcullis. Maybe they didn't know. Yeah, they're bad at this. Anyway. Uh, is there much distance between these two and me? Like how? 30 feet behind. 30, 30 feet behind me? That's, that's one move action yeah. for me. Okay. And him. Yeah. Well, move action. A dash action would yeah. get us twice that. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, but. All things considered, not that far behind. Yeah. All right, well, I'd, 
I don't really have a means to do anything to them right now without stopping and taking aim, and I feel like it's just begging for another <laughs> catapult attack on me. You should probably get inside. So yeah, I'm just gonna I mean, just get, warn us. Just, just yeah, I'm I'm going to yell. You're gonna have company as I run inside. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna roll something real quick for everyone else. All right. All right. No caster, don't give no fucks. Roll the nat one. Of course he doesn't. Fucking course he doesn't. Red finds the lever for the iron gate. She hears you scream that, <laughs> and in haste, pulls a lever. No, Red! No, no, it's going down slowly. They can make it in comfortably. Okay. You make it past, she watches it, and you watch as the gate kind of like creaks, and then slowly starts to descend. Okay, uh, once I am inside, I'm going to just position and aim. I'm going to say at the left wall, since I'm guessing I didn't get a good idea of what side they were going to be scaling up faster. Yep. So I'm just going to go ahead and commit to the left wall. I've just got my crossbow trained on that, and the second I see a hand or a head popping over, I just, I'm just i going to let loose on, on someone. All right. You two. Booking it for the door. Yeah, just going for that gate. All right, so the gate gets about halfway as you guys duck under it and make it across. Woo! I'm As a baseball slid. Yep. For no reason. Yep. <laughs> Woo! Oh, I, uh, I Keytar slid. <laughs> As you <laughs> guys, you, a trail of blood falls behind you. Ow! <laughs> Ow. I scraped I, my knees! <laughs> I did not need more ouchies today. Hey, Riss, you got any of that healing juice, buddy? You got, you got any of that good stuff for your old pal, Eloy? Just imagine you're saying this, and he, like, slams his face in the ground. <laughs> Got, uh, the, did, did Vecker give you any extra, a, any extra god juice there, buddy? He's too busy and preoccupied with the fact he's watching a million hands kind of a clasp onto the bridge and run towards you guys. All right, uh, uh, I, I, everyone, everyone's how, inside how, now, right? Yes. How big is this doorway? Like, how many spaces are Ten feet apart. Okay, so it's ten feet? Yeah. All right, I'm going to stand just behind where the iron gate is and just try to, like, hold off whatever I can. Well, let me, I, let me roll to see if that even happens, but okay. you continue. I was going to say, I throw about 100 ball bearings on the bridge behind, <laughs> like, out the door to trip up anyone coming, up, coming on us. Okay. These have been very <laughs> useful. Yeah. <laughs> I minor illusion an already closed gate <laughs> into place. All right, I'm going to have to roll for a big swarm now. <laughs> let me roll for your thing first, then. Fuck it, maybe some of them will slip and fall off the bridge when running towards... A good the, couple the, of them the stop seeing door. that. So some of them have taken heed to that. Others just don't give a fuck and just like, no, I can make it, I can do this. Now to roll for the ball bearings. I'll beat that bri I'll beat that <laughs> door. <laughs> I'll beat that... Whoa! I'll be... Whoa! Yes. I'll be... If only this was a traditional RPG where I was getting like XP no the XP ones that for every kill and all the, of them jumping off there just, <laughs> yeah rack it up. You pretty much like you watch as like five or six of them all fall off because of the ball bearings and the gate closes. Any of them who reach up to the gate are now trying to like wave their arms inside to grab at you. You're all hearing is just giant jittering and screaming as they're <laughs> attempting to break through, but to no avail. I minor illusion my illusory iron gate into an iron middle finger. <laughs> a big giant iron middle finger at these boys. <laughs> They're incensed and burn down the door. Let's not, uh, Barabbas looks to you, let's not tease them any further. Let's actually get inside. That sounds fair. Yes, please. You guys watch as you turn around and there's a door. You open the door, you go inside. It looks like, remember when you first were on the opposite end, it looked like a small little like gatekeeping area for entering on top of the bridge? You're pretty much entering a dual version of that. Okay. You shut the door behind you. Barabbas, like, picks up one of the broken tables and throws it in front of the door. <laughs> the door. Risp, do you have any healing magic? Uh, Eloy could really use some help and, yeah, pro I, and probably wake, too. I'm fine. Oh, you are? Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, I took zero damage. Oh, well. I'm so I've, far from fine. I, I've took, taken about a third of my life in damage, but I don't think I have a realistic way to gauge that in-game. All right. 
Let me see about wrists real quick. He can help you on out. A scale of one to thirty-four, <laughs> I'm at a. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if my pain threshold is thirty-four, I'm eleven. Remember how you can just apparently heal twenty-seven points in a round with one second-level spell slot? That'd be great. <laughs> yeah, right if about you can now. figure out how to do that again. <laughs> Thirteen points for you. For me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Then I'm back up. Another thirteen points for you. Uh, and we'll do one more for you. All right, so that's nine points for you. And a high five for Wake. <laughs> Good job, Riss. I did it. That's our god. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, yeah. so now we're on that map over there. The map. So you wa like, what you see is a staircase that leads downwards. Beyond that, there's like a very, very <laughs> small source of light. It's very faint, but it also looks like it's flickering, almost like something actually lit a torch down there. Um, I'm going to do... Uh, perception would also be listening, right? Yes. All right. I'm, I'm going to just try and listen in here if I hear, like, the scuffle of more trogs or anything nearby. I super soaker a couple of healing potions down my throat. <laughs> I'm back up to full. Okay. I pat you on the back. I'm nearly out of healing potions, but you, I'm you, alive. You, you and, watch yeah. as a rock falls out of his hair. I kind of dust it out of there. <laughs> you okay, Eloy? Thank you, Wake. That I would have been dead. I appreciate it. Uh, and thank you too, Ezra. I yeah, tried my best. Good, you did a good job. You, you held on somehow. I'm honestly like, I look, I look at you. <laughs> you you're, you're wiry, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh. I guess I don't know my own strength. Uh, also, did you throw a hammer? Uh, you know, a lot of things happen in the heat of the moment, and just, uh... No, it was Gaffy. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, in my brilliance, I decided to hammer your spear further into the concrete, and, uh, well, in, in the heat of the moment, the hammer might have slipped. Sorry if uh, that did anything to you guys. Um, that was fine. You got, got rid of the extra weight at the very least. Well, that's helpful. Uh, I did a, uh, a, oh, where is it? Okay, there we go. Uh, 24 right. in perception, just trying to, to listen 24. and look around to see you if hear, there's... You hear, you actually heard someone, like, hush when they heard, like, Barabbas throw the table. Like, like a, shh, shh. Anyways, guys, we might want to cut this, <laughs> cut this congratulations short. There, there might be more in here. It didn't sound like a trog. It sounded different. It was way more falsetto than it was a trog. Well, either way... Ezra, Ezra might be a little on edge with the day he's been having. So, <laughs> someone else is in here. That's bad news enough. Mm. I'm going to roll for Wake to see how oblivious he is to danger. <laughs> it's above 10. He's fine. He's not, right. not going to say shit. You didn't hear the hush, but you, saw, yeah. you see the flickering of light, and it's not coming from Caster. Okay. But he's still emitting light. Yeah, like a very low light. Like a beacon of dick... Baggery. <laughs> All right. Well, so, so we have stairs going forward. You have stairs going down, like in a spiral. You're yeah. on the top of a tower, pretty much. I am going to like. I, I basically like motion to them like to be quiet, and I just start stealthing my way down. Go for it. Um, I'm going to suggest Great. that uh, the stealthiest among us probably lead the way. Probably that, Risf. Yeah. So Risf, Ezra, and myself, and that the rest kind of hold back and come up when they're given a signal. That was not a great stealth All roll, right. so I'm going to assist that. Hey, that's, uh, it runs out in another 10 minutes, so yeah. use it while you got it. Uh, 18. Uh, I am like the shadows. I am a 27. All right, Riss got a 15, so he's okay. <laughs> I am invisible. Your footsteps are pretty much silent as you go down the staircase. You can, Because of the light being emitted down there, you can pretty much see the... like what's happening on the staircase. However, the light is mobile. It's actually moving. moving. You watch as the light fades away, but then comes back again. Almost as if there's multiple sources of light. You can't, like, the, if you don't wish to be seen, you know that it would be best if you don't, like, look over the side. Yeah. You're just seeing that the light down below is dancing. Oh, I got a, I got uh, a 27 on stealth. I'm willing to peek. I'm not going to peek, but I have a mirror, and I'm going to, like, try and use it to, like, do the, the classic reflect trick. To sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. That one. 
tink, tink, tink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I reflect their own light back in their eyes. <laughs> you point it back at Castor and blind yourself. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Severity is pretty high. Let me roll something. And by high, I mean low. Yeah. It's, it's bad, whatever it is. I don't know. I think it's actually okay, whatever yeah, it is. I think high is good. Well, seemingly okay. All right, well... In the range of bad things that can happen. Yeah. This is the, on the lower end. You pretty much hold it up All over right. the railing. Great. Another dashing move by your yep. good captain. Meanwhile, yeah. meanwhile, I'm just peeking over. What are you doing? <laughs> to shave, this will help. Oh no, what if I made it through? Tell Garak, please go! You hear galloping running off. What, uh, did I see anything when I'm peeking over? Roll perception check. With disadvantage, because they all kind of booked. I was doing that when Ezra was... Oh, my <laughs> yeah, me holding up my mirror for I gave it away. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, 11. <laughs> Saw a horse butt. Theater of the mind. You saw, you saw the tail end of a tiny horse run outside the wall, uh, run outside the room below. And the light source is gone. It is now completely dark. Wait, it's okay. We aren't going to hurt you. Well, Shh, they might be reporting to Trogs. We don't know who these people are. I have suddenly become very paranoid with, <laughs> with today's events. What are you going to do? I. Yeah, that's yeah, it. You, there's, no, yeah. no, there's nothing else happening right now. Well, if they've cleared out the room, then I just go ahead and head inside. You head down? Yeah. I, I uh, signal for everybody else to come ahead as well. All right. I will, I will attempt to stealth just for form's sake. I don't know if it'll do us any good. Twelve. You hear clipping, but no clopping. <laughs> now nah, you hear clopping coming down the stairs. There, here comes it. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> you all make it downstairs... Uh, this looks like what used to be a, uh, not an armory, but so much like an, like an inventory lockup. So there's like some broken swords on the floor. There's some broken armor, uh, tattered flags of, uh, you pretty much have seen all this stuff before in like the previous building. Uh, the, if you guys want to roll like investigations or perceptions, I could give you a better idea of what's going on. Investigation. 17. 15. 10. You see hoof prints in the floor. Like, the dust that has been kicked up in certain areas. There clearly was something equine was in this room before. Can I tell if it is... It is not your people, and it, it looks like a horse. It doesn't look like a donkey footprint. Okay. I... I suppose not knowing that unicorns were currently extant until very recently, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between an equine centaur hoof print and a unicorn one. But, through general, just like, through general perception, you could tell that whatever kind of equine these are, these are children. Okay. They're ponies or colts. We got, we got some small boys. Or girls. I don't know. You can't tell from a hoof print. Did I find anything with my 15 looking around this area? Anything uh, of interest, I guess. Anything of interest. Let me roll that real quick. I'm going to be heavy, heavily reliant on this special little die here that is the treasure die. Ooh. I dig that. And there's also a trap die. Oh, good. Ooh. <laughs> well, fuck me in the alley. I rolled a magical weapon. Ooh. <laughs> Praise be. Praise be wake. It's okay, Mr. Stick. I bet you're still better. <laughs> I say, that looks expensive. Mr. Stick's your 90. No take backs. <laughs> All right. 90 at the time. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I will allow this. <laughs> I'll dig it. You find a small short sword that looks actually very expertly well crafted. The blade is a metal that almost has the same sheen as mithril as you've seen before, but putting your hand towards it, you can absolutely feel that there's some kind of magic emanating off it. 
and you haven't even touched it yet. It has a sort of glow around it. Well, the allure, it. like I, I grab it, I grab it by the <laughs> hilt. Just waiting for Zeta to go, oh, you grab it, do you? Oh, you touch it, how? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you touch it, do you? Nothing happens. <laughs> With no cloth or glove, just making sure. Okay. Uh. I think they left behind a sword. They must have been in a real hurry. I think they were afraid of us. Strike a little pose. Just feels like any normal average sword to you. Pretty nice. Neat. I'm guessing with my 10 in investigation, I didn't find anything cool or important. This is technically loot from that massive encounter we just had. <laughs> mm -hmm. You put your finger in a mouse trap. Oh. <laughs> you find What's no mice. What's this? <laughs> Ow. Ow. It's a magic resetting mouse trap. No, you. Yeah, that'd be useful. <laughs> you find uh, what looks like a crystal orb. It looks. It's just a wondrous gemstone. It just. It looks like a really, really flawed emerald in the shape of an orb. Emerald orb, flawed emerald orb is how I'm going to write this. It's probably about, if you put three knuckles together, that's about how big it is. Okay. I'm just gonna put this sword away before anybody might deem it valuable. I'll <laughs> get it appraised later. Roll sleight of hand. Not my greatest roll, but not awful. Uh, 22. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, I don't get that bonus. Uh, 19. I don't get proficiency with sleight of hand. By one point, Caster saw it. Shink. Hmm. What was that? I don't know, some sword that the horses left. Horses using swords? I don't know. That Maybe. sounds absolutely bumpkiss. Let me see it. All right. I'll let him see it. Maybe he can figure out what it is. He grabs it. Does anyone have anything mundane that I could slice this with? I don't know if you want to cut a sword, but... I mean, I got Not this... the sword, he wants to cut yeah, something with it. he wants to cut something oh. with the sword, it's just his wording. Yeah. <laughs> I pull some jerky or an apple or something out of my rations. Here you go. He grabs it, plucks it, puts it down. Gonna take a swing for good old Casty boy. <laughs> oh, he misses. No, you actually watch as the blade kind of, like, fumbles around in his wrist. Like, he, his hand is too big to grab onto it firmly, but yet somehow the cut is completely clean. By all accounts and by all logic, he should have missed. Okay. But the blade strikes true, and you watch as the apple is cut completely clean. Huh, I thought you were about to miss. As was I. It's a sort of apple slaying. <laughs> sure would be useful in a kitchen, I guess. Hey, you think Grammy will want it? Maybe. Ooh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Well, Caster looks at it. Well, obviously, it, it's imbued with something. Must be nice. We can get that appraised later when we get back on the surface. Hmm. We'll see about that. Uh, excuse oh, me. He cheats it. I, pardon me. Uh, I do believe our agreement was that you would get the staff. 90%. Yeah, and I think yeah, you already agreed you, that your 90% you, was the which staff. Which you claimed was the staff. Unless I, I misheard you, but, I mean, you seem to be a man who would be of his word, and it just doesn't seem, you know, very, uh... You see Barabbas. Doesn't seem very Esquire caster-esque. Also, I don't <laughs> to want to necessarily play that card, but technically, in order to get through that dragon room, we did buy your life. So that sounds more valuable than anything here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, actually. <laughs> For the purposes of this contract, fair enough. <laughs> I hold my comrades. <laughs> I basically hold out hands to basically go like, guys, fellas. <laughs> Persuasion. Not even advantage on me quoting back on something he said. Fair enough. Oh, damn it. Uh, you still have that bardic inspiration dice that you No, have. I, used I used it. it. Oh, did you use it for the hammer? I used it for the stealth, because oh. uh, my stealth roll was real bad. Oh. Um, 14. Um, 
Oh, we match. <laughs> so I win. Well, if he's, de- a- he's, he's defending my pers- <laughs> against my persuasion. <laughs> you roll the 14. Which is what I also got. Yep. You pretty much are now at a stalemate arguing over the contract. <laughs> he pulls out the paper, and you both are now just in a fucking, like, Phoenix Wright contradiction fight right now. <laughs> Sir, well, I, you proclaimed the staff to be 90%, and we could keep can, your words the rest. The contract clearly states that all, all, uh, all accounts would be made once the entire adventure was over. Uh, can, I, can I make an assistance? Sure, go <laughs> like, for it. Just, just to assist his role, just to kind of push this in one way. Uh, I was just gonna say. Well, either way, I feel like that sword might be in better, like, might be of better use to this gentleman over here than it would be to you, if you want to stay alive. That is. You hear? Yeah, go for it. That's an intimidation. Cool. I don't think I have proficiency in that. No. So it's just a flat nineteen. You beat him out. I hold out. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. gives you back the sword. Thank yep, you. And I hand it to you. Thank you very much, Wake. You can use short swords. That Through all the shuffling, you hear. <laughs> coming from behind you. That the stick? It goes behind him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Is your stick trying to say something? Yeah, it, like? was, it was Fall trying to speak. Through that entire scuffle, you kind of just like, <laughs> he was hidden under your shirt the whole time. Like, <laughs> Oh, I dig him out. I'm, I'm sorry, you must have gotten all mixed up in the scuffle. Here you go, and I put him back in his loop where he can stand up straight and see where he's, see his surroundings and speak clearly. May I see the brand? I hold it out. Oh, your, your voice got cleaned up. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> magic. <laughs> Crazy. It's just, it turns out I just needed to talk a little Here, bit. Yeah. Have, have a magic lozenge. There <laughs> yeah, you go. Yeah, there you go. Thanks. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Magic lodgings, you say. <laughs> Magic jerky. <laughs> hmm, it's a beef-flavored lozenge. It's now an ASMR stream. <laughs> Magic. Right. I hold up the da- er, the short sword uh, for him to inspect. All right. God damn, that was really good. <laughs> <laughs> it smells good. Mm. He holds it out. Uh, you hold it out to him, mm-hmm. like, you obviously can't tell if he's looking it over or not. He's a fucking stick. Yeah. I, I hold it to where I... I, do, I feel like it's been... Des- eyes are. <laughs> yeah. I feel like what it's been described is like, wasn't there like a skull... Uh, There's a face on yeah, it. A face yeah, a face on it. So I'm holding it in front of the face, presuming that's where his face is, or where he perceives. Well, this obviously was made for the hands of one who has angelic bloodline inside of them. Anyone who has a holy presence, can wield this sword and have extra luck applied to them. So it's well, that sounds like risk. <laughs> yeah, my <laughs> head sinks a little bit. You don't, you don't say. But it's still a magic weapon, right? Yes. Pretty much he says that anyone who has any sort of ability with divinity when striking with the sword can activate it. When done so, it gives you a plus 10 to the attack for one swing. For a day. <laughs> I agree, Eloy. I look over to Riss. <laughs> you want to hold this for a second and like give it a little, give it a little test swing and see if you feel any different? Yeah, you've been touched by God. <laughs> it burns his hand to the touch. <laughs> no, he picks it up with one hand, picks it up in the other. They both feel radically different in each hand. Interesting. You don't say. Which one feels better? Or is it not put, a better or worse put, thing? Puts it up, put, you, you feel, he goes, this one I feel nothing, pulls it over to the hand that was magically transformed. This one I feel my strike could do more. Unlimited power. <laughs> well, that's neat. Hey, are you right-handed? Because that could make up the difference. May I see the apple? Goes ahead for the slice. Wow. Okay. Eh. That's a... Yeah. Eh. The apple explodes. <laughs> oh! I just imagine he's <laughs> sitting there and just like a bukkake of apple. To... <laughs> <laughs> mm. No, it tastes rotten. It's decayed. 
Oh. Yeah. All yeah. right. Let's risk. I think we found an interesting, uh, interesting little tool for yeah. you there to go with your robe. Might be able to help defend yourself in the future. If you don't mind, I would take this. I do mind. Shut up, Caster. <laughs> <laughs> Says Barabbas. <laughs> As of right now, Caster, it doesn't seem. I feel like we haven't found all of that much loot, and it's not like we're going to start dividing up this stick for you to only pay, take part of it. I still feel like that stick is nine times more expensive than anything we've gathered. You hear Granger Fault? Why, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> a thousand years of history of, again, cannot overstate the, the value of an eyewitness account of a thousand years ago. <laughs> Three thousand years, technically. The fall of an entire civilization. Yeah. It also seems to me that in the short term, we can be divvying up based on survival, and then once we get back up to the ship, we can start divvying according to value. So you've been doing this all this whole time. Everyone roll a perception check. Modified 20. 7. Uh, 12. I'm so you hear, you, when you I... hear something, all of you hear something thud against the door. And what hits the floor is what looks like a small, you think it's a caltrop, but upon further inspection, you look at it, it looks like jump, it looks like Jack's, like the toy. Yeah. Oh. They're technically caltrops. <laughs> I'm gonna do. <laughs> My childhood was kind of cut tragically short when I had to start taking care of my mom after dad left the picture. Oh, I'm do gonna, tell me. I'm gonna see. <laughs> I'm gonna see if, uh, with a history check, how does if, this make you feel? If I know what jacks are. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A ten. I feel like I might get it with that. You saw the other kids playing. <laughs> Those are super fucking tiny caltrops. <laughs> be careful, guys. These might be armed. Somebody's trapped in this place. Shink, get ready. <laughs> Red just looks to a lot of you. That's a toy. She oh. opens the door completely. <laughs> was it a tiny? It was, it was a ti it, no. It was a tiny unicorn. It just booked like it saw you. You watched as its horn was kind of faded with magic. That's what may have thrown it. It looked like it was casting Mage Hand. And then it just got so spooked because the door was opened wide. And it ran off to the side. Hey, wait! Come, come back! You don't look like a troglodyte! How do you play this? <laughs> I go after it. Roll Persuasion. No, no, no. 19. You saying that beckons the unicorn to kind of like peek around the corner. It doesn't respond to you, it just kind of like looks at you inquisitively. Like, I hear it's a game, I just, I don't understand. Like, it's, it, they're metal barbs. Like, how do you, like, I start tossing it. Tink, tink, tink. Am I doing it right? Troglodytes don't talk. It doesn't move its mouth. You hear that magically. Yeah, I, I didn't think that we didn't really have much of a conversation with them while we were trying to throw them off the bridge. Uh, That's what happened? Oh, yeah, they, they were throwing rocks at us. It was, it, was, I'm, like, it was real bad. I mean, you can ask... I'm sorry, are you a... Are you a unicorn? A uni... What? Like the horn on your head, you... Like, do you have a name? Of all the things I did, <laughs> I didn't give him that. <laughs> Thank God I have this book, because fuck if I'm giving it a fake name. <laughs> we all know what happens then. <laughs> we all know what happened then. <laughs> Everything dies. <laughs> Ezra, I don't have any ignorant preconceptions about what this thing should be like. I don't know how to feel. <laughs> <laughs> That's the beauty of meeting new people, Eloy. You can come up with you can, you can come up with uh, prejudices along the way. The real treasure. You can was make the up prejudices. some. We made along the way. 
<laughs> you can make assumptions based on what you see. Taking a glance at this, what what what's the first negative thing that comes to your mind? They're lazy and they like to play too much. <laughs> All right, committed. Uh, let me roll a one to one hundred. And they're quick. cowards. <laughs> Those damn cowardly, lazy <laughs> unicorns. All of them. Boom. There we go. We just created a stereotype <laughs> from one action that we've seen. His name is Gilbert. Nice to meet you, Gilbert. Fuck you, book. <laughs> hi. Oh, hi, Gilbert. My name's Ezra, and my friends and I, we, we, we're adventurers, and we, we kind of we found ourselves, uh, well, in a lot more danger than I think we originally expected. Do you, uh, do you know a good way out of here? Leave? No. Gorik told us never to leave. Uh, who's Gorik? Gorik is my best friend's father. He leads us all. He's the king. What's he like? We're new here, so we don't really know what the king is like or what, you know, what your customs are. Can we meet we're, him? We're from... You uh, hear Grandeur Fault go, Gorik is one of the lesser ones we tried to use as a test bed. So maybe you should not be a part of this. <laughs> I'm just throwing that one out there. I have no way to not be a part of this. I'm strapped to your friend's back. Well, I'm just saying, sure? like, you maybe the being more? quiet and not interacting <laughs> with the You're just a you... stick, as far as he can nerd. Yeah, may maybe not, you know, opening with, yeah, we did, a, we did a wicket on him. Also, maybe not calling them lesser ones flat out, yeah, probably useful in this idea. situation. I'm sorry, but 3,000 years of unbridled rage, it kind of is hard to drop <laughs> something like that. You saw what happened. I ended up becoming a Bodoc. Let's try to avoid that, too. Just <laughs> We'll create a list of things. Come back in 3,000 years, and maybe we'll have that again. <laughs> we can I think I'll down. be long gone by then. <laughs> probably. Yeah. And I'm just throwing out there... That that whole going becoming a bo Bodoc road that ends with becoming a stick. Now you know what they say about learning from past mistakes. Are you claiming I'd be something lesser than this? Not lesser. <laughs> Probably like I don't know, dead peacefully at least. Dust. I may be old, son, but however, I still hold unbridled power. I, look I just need to give it to someone else. If, in some regards. If one was a sorcerer, I could be a hex pact. I look over at Gil. So what's the king like? And 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 uh, can you tell me about you guys? You're funny talking to a stick. Yeah, it's it's a it's a big old joke between me and my friends. Do you like to play horn hoop? Well, I teach I, me everything. <laughs> <laughs> I've never played it before, but I'd like to learn. How I, do you I not know like what most, horn like, hoop is? Do you have a hoop? Like, is it? Do, do you yeah, we have a hoop. Hold on. You watch as like one of the crystal shards from a chandelier rips off as his horn is glowing bright, and it floats in front of you. Okay. Throw, throw a thing. Do, throw do, something in there. Throw, throw it through the hoop. Yeah. All right. Um. Not with your hand. With magic. Oh. oh, uh... Hi. <laughs> hey, hey, Red. You can do that, right? Must I... I look up... To I, this? I, I, uh, I, I, uh, I, this would be the first thing that's not tried to kill us when <laughs> since we've been down here. So to make nice, yes. I, I look at the boy and I go like, my magic's a little different from yours, but let me see if I can try. I try to slide of hand the flawed emerald I found <laughs> through the hoop. Roll like slide of hand. To flick it. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna roll perception for Gilbert here. I I opened with my magic's a little different, so <laughs> if he thinks he's being tricked, he can at least be like, "You're right, it was different." Nineteen. <coughs> Excuse me. You beat him out. He just he's like trying to concentrate to hold the hoop up. He <laughs> looks at you. What man? <laughs> uh, roll. Roll acrobatics check, because he's actually trying to actively move it okay. against you. That one. Mm. Rolling severity. Okay. This could go one of two, well, one of many ways, and one in my head is real bad. You toss it. He moves it. He moves the uh, hoop to the side just enough that it knocks it off. You're actually on the second story of a floor. You look like you know when you're on the second story of a mall and you look down and there's the bottom half. Uh -huh. That's kind of like what you're looking at right there. You're kind of on that top balcony okay. and right. you watch as the the emerald flies off the edge and hits the floor with a crack. 
All right. It's better than what I was afraid of. I was afraid I was just going to... Oh! I was afraid I was just going to clock the kid. I'm all right losing a, a precious gem. Hopefully that's all it was. And since it's gone now... You, you, know, just, you just hear... You, you, see the, you see Gilbert wince. Is everything okay? Ooh... Gork's going to be mad. I, he told us not to come around near the edge of the barrier while the trogs were active. He's probably heard that. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell him That's I'm okay. sorry. We'll, we'll explain it for you. But what, are, wait, but what are you, though? You're not trog. He might be. No, he looks I'm over a, to you. Uh, I, am, I am a fish man. I live in the water normally. We're people from another land who are visiting. We don't like the trogs at all. They're bad. They threw such rocks at us, you would not believe. I know, right? And they also drink blood of your family. That Ooh, sounds that's real bad. really rude. Re and Reg just goes, Grand your fault? I'm going to put this out there, but you, you didn't use that, did you? Grand your fault does not respond. She likes talking to sticks, too. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, don't worry. If any trogs show up, we'll, we'll protect you guys from... Uh, He's a giant bird! They used to live around here! Right? I know! <laughs> God, until, uh, until recently, I hadn't met one either. Do you tweet? Follow him at Matt Barabbas. <laughs> <laughs> Barabbas just like slowly turns his head to the rest of you. I've heard him call once or twice. Yes, I tweet. Yeah. <laughs> I do more than that, though. You watch him flip his head back. I'm sure that picked up amazingly on the fucking microphone. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. Look at him go. Gonna roll performance check. Versus his insight. <laughs> Gilbert is not amused. Oh no, he's super amused. <laughs> he like he like clops his hooves down, just like, yeah, like that's his attempt at clapping. Doing a little horse thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you think you'd be able to show us to your people? Uh I'm sure they have a lot that, uh... No, would... Gorg would be mad. We're not supposed to talk to anyone outside. Well, we might be able to help you with your trog problem. I... Right. We hear there's a magical core somewhere here that if we get to, it causes a, I don't know, some sort of weird... M like, re magic explosion that will repel a lot of things. Oh, that's Gorg. He'd do that. Oh, well... He's the one making the barrier. He's making that? Yeah. Oh, well, I hear there's something else, because we ran into a dragon earlier. And we want to get rid What's of that. What's a dragon? It's a big, scaly monster with sharp, pointy teeth, and it... You have one right there, then. Looks over to Riss. Uh, oh, it's, it's bigger. a lot bigger. Way bigger. Much bigger. It wouldn't fit in this you think, room. It, so before big. you guys all said that, he was just like, you think I'm a dragon? Oh. No, you're not <laughs> you a just dragon, kicked his fucking dreams out. <laughs> it's it's like him, but bigger. Way bigger. And he, meaner. He looks like a tiny trog. No. no. He's very different. I mean, I Wow, really I can't I cannot fucking believe we just turned a 180 <laughs> where I made kobolds radically different and now I got the three of you saying it's <laughs> radically different. <laughs> uh, I mean, like the ones that we saw, I mean, I didn't really get a good look at them. I kicked one in the face though. That was fun. He doesn't drink blood or be mean. As far like as a trog know. does. He definitely doesn't be mean. He's not he definitely mean. doesn't drink He's a great your guy. family's blood either. I've never seen him drink anybody's blood. I've never know. seen him eat. I was gonna say I don't know if I've seen him drink. Riss, what do you eat? What do you mean? <laughs> I, I, I just never actively have watched you eat. You've watched him eat dinner with you constantly. <laughs> yeah, he lives on our ship. He eats, he eats Grammy's cookie, cooking like the rest of us. Look, Wake rolls it like Wake's a shark. He rolls his eyes in the back of his head. And just <laughs> wah, wah, wah. I eat meat and greens like anyone else. Ah, see, look, no, Normal. no, no blood of your people. You eat meat? That's bad. We eat greens only. Well, I, I'm, I'm different. I show him like my sharp, pointy teeth. I was born this way. 
but I don't eat your people. Yeah, I try not to eat anything that can talk as a general yeah. rule. That would, that'd be a wicked. I, you know what? I, I can see that. I can see that. That's, that sounds like a good idea. I wouldn't want you to eat my only sister left. She'd be dead. Yeah, yeah we wouldn't bad. want to either. Look, Gil, you said that... You, that what was your king's name again? I'm sorry. I'm, Gorick. I'm yeah, Gorick. De- God. God. Thank you. You said that Gorick would be mad if, if he saw you were talking with us. Do you, do you want us to... Do, do you want to go hide and we'll announce ourselves here so you don't have to take the blame for talking to us? That might not be such a great idea, Granger Fault says. Oh, hold on, the stick is talking to us. <laughs> Look, we Show- found someone who doesn't want to kill us. I'd, that's I a under- lead I'd like to I understand with. that, but... Here's the problem, is that this whole barrier thing, if we approach him and somehow don't se- unser- and somehow unceremoniously make him angry in some regard, or make him afraid that someone entered the barrier of the castle, he might just use his magic to repel us out individually. That would be problematic. Would, yeah. That wouldn't be good. Say, do you know a, a, a way around out of here that does not involve going past your family? Like, we don't want to hurt anybody. Oh, well, that'd be just going back out the front, but that's that's a bad because yeah, the, the, the that, trogs that, are there. Yeah, that bridge is broken. Yeah, we're we're more looking for a way through. We hear there's a maze somewhere here. The maze. Oh, you mean the leaf place? Dad told us not to go to the leaf place. Yeah, I think we have to go to the leaf place though. Oh, really? Because there are trogs there. Well, guess what? We're we are, clean we them are out. really good at taking care of those. And then, hey, if we get rid of enough of them, maybe you guys will be able to go to a leaf place. I bet there's lots of yummy food there. You say you eat greens. I tried eating leaf from Green Place once. My entire mouth was itchy for a week. Well, maybe oh, not those greens, yeah. but I'm sure further in, maybe. Oh, okay, well... If it can sustain life, there has to tell be you what. You there. don't need to take us to the green place because we know that's a bad for you. But if you can like tell us which way to go to get to the green, you'd place. have to go talk to Gorick though, because he guards green place. Well, that's really mm. awkward. So yeah. I see we're at an impasse here. We're gonna have to talk to Gorick. Okay. Go well, Grander fault. Any other bright ideas? <sighs> Unfortunately, no. The only other way. The only other way we can get out of here is taking the ba- uh, taking the front entrance to the castle and try to fight our way out of the trogs, or figure out why Gorik won't let us through. Well, I sort of seems like we're going to be wind up talking to him one way or the other. I feel so. like talking to Gorik is probably our best bet here. <sighs> Look, if he kicks us out, we'll just go say hi to Pops Robbie again. Do we do we want to wrap uh, Granderfold up for this? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> Look, Grander Fault, you're, you're great, and once, hey, we, we, get, we have like once, a, once we get outside, you're going to see the world. Barabbas, you have a, you have a, a portal bag, right? Like that a bag of holding? Yeah, that thing. Yes, I do. Yeah, he wouldn't be able to find Grander Fault in there, right? Like, it's just kind of hidden. You do know what happens when you put one inside of a bag of holding, correct? I He's don't. not alive. Are you alive? Like, I mean, you have consciousness, but you're a stick. Do you breathe? This is a new experience for me. I've never been a stick. <laughs> nor nor do really? I wish... you haven't in all of your thousands of years of You living. have been missing out. I've been a deer then, before. Then you might be alive, but you haven't lived. <laughs> <laughs> and I certainly won't live if you put me in a bag of holding. Is, I'm, I'm, here's I, the thing. I'm not willing to risk something happening to him just in case. Because, <laughs> again, I'm still mystified by an eyewitness of thousands of years ago. Let's just... Maybe wrap him up. And uh, Granderfault, when, when we're having this conversation, it sounds like maybe your guys' history won't I be so I will be great. silent. Thank, Thank you. you. That would be great. Uh, Un- unless you hear us unwitt- unwittingly walking into absolute doom, please try your best to stay silent. <laughs> I understand if we're not making the best choices, but only if, for a total last resort, do you... Voice your concern. You are my only means of getting out of here. Exactly. If, if this is what needs to be done, then so be it. Perfect. Glad there we, we see oh, eye to eye. eye. There, okay, we've made an agreement with the stick. Uh, I think we can... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that stick is ugly! 
That's why we're wrapping it up. We, yeah, we don't want to. We don't want to upset it. anybody. I want a scary stick. Well, well, I'll tell you what. If we find a nice piece of wood, I'll carve one for you. What is carving? It's like shaping things to look like other it's things. Shaping things with. It's shaping wood into things, basically. Oh. I mean, I can do that too with stone. Watch. You see him just like turn and look to a small piece of the stone that's still sitting on the railing. You hear him just like blow a raspberry through his mouth, like, <laughs> like trying really hard to like use the magic in his horn. Nothing happens. Oh. I think I see a little something. I, th I think I saw something move. Like, you, you get, you're, you're really good at this. I mean, you're still learning, obviously. I shouldn't learn. I should be born with it. He, like, you see him, like, just, like, use his hoof to kick a stone out of the way. Hey, it's all right. Yeah, but, I mean, everybody learns a little bit as they grow up. Are we I mean, done here? In theory. Good. Then take me to this Garrick. Okay. <laughs> I think I think we can manage that. Yeah. All right. Let me just double check something real quick. That's right. I ate all of those healing candies. I was going to give one to the kid and be like, "Hey, you know what? Here, thanks for being such a good boy." All right. Say to our little, uh, like, will, will will our little unicorn friend help us get back there? Uh, he looks around. He you so pretty much you're right there in front of you. Like that's yeah, like we're in, the, we're in the yeah. Hallway. You're still inside the tower. He kind of like takes you out. How you uh how you walk out? You open to a dilapidated and just like disheveled, broken castle. It looks like there's rocks that broke in through the ceiling. You could see the light coming in from the barrier. Gotcha. Uh. There are depictions of centaurs in, like, sets of armor littered all over the place. There's rubble all over the floor. This place looks like it hasn't been cared for for eons and eons and eons. Uh, walking in, you do notice that there are other unicorn children off all the way to the, uh, down the other side. Because they they there were, like, a few of them, but not all of them had, like, the courage to come down there and see, like, what all the hubbub was about. Seeing you guys, they all just, like, whinny and run off. Hello. Hi. It's Hi. okay. We're we're friendly. Hello. They Wanna they play some horn hoop. <laughs> <laughs> they ran down that way. No, they they probably want to play some morph ball or slap the bloater fish. Ah, uh, slap the bloater fish. You have that game down here too? Yeah, you have it too. Oh my god, it's amazing. Oh man, it's almost as cool as Pogs. How remember Pogs? Pogs were great. Do you remember how long? Like, well, okay. How was how 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 quick were you able to make it scream? Like, what's your fastest time? Oh, my fastest time, uh, was a year. Oh man, that's that's that's. <laughs> how many bloater fish do you have down here? Like seven. Oh. That one's still over there. That we call that one Stupid Greg. Ah, oh, Stupid Greg. <laughs> There's a bloaterfish sitting there looking at you. I'm gonna go punt it. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> we'll pause here for a little bit. <laughs> we'll be right back after this. Welcome back to the table, everybody. All right, so uh, we we met our we met a new unicorn friend, and I punted a bloatfish because apparently some games are universal. Mm -hmm. Stood the test of time. And boundaries, yeah. So And species. Mm, it's kind of amazing, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? Maybe some creature learned about it here and then grew fins and left the city <laughs> to, to become a fish creature. All the brought other, the new game. Every other life form has been repulsed from this castle except the bloater fish. <laughs> some things you just anything. cannot keep away. Maybe the bloaterfish spread the word. They're the rats of the seas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, Gilbert uh, pretty much let, helps you take a small tour around the area. You watch as he's, like, you, you can see from the outside, like, there's another barrier. Like, it's, like, one layer of barrier, then a second layer of barrier, which is the big one that covers the whole entire, like, reason why this place is still under the water. Uh, you head down to... Uh, you head down some stair. Uh, you head down a staircase that takes you almost close to the front. When you look behind you, as you're being escorted down to the first floor, the front gate is open, but it's covered by another barrier. 
and just outside of it, you're seeing, like, a bunch of trogs just, like, staring you all down, just like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to attempt to intimidate one with, like, a jolt. 18. <laughs> I point at it. <laughs> you. <laughs> All right, so you guys can move your tokens right there in front of the other unicorn. Sure thing. Moving us into this room. Here. Oh, Gonna okay. get here. Everybody get in here. As we are the captain, you take front and center. Sure thing. All right, so pretty much all the stuff that you see on the floor that's, like, lined up, uh, these are all rooms. Uh, they look like they were... This would look like an open ballroom with multiple separate little private rooms. Mm -hmm. This entire place looks like it's covered in, like, bright moss. There are little fireflies dancing around here. Uh, there's actually some open water flowing out from some of the... Like, it looks like an intricate little fountain that kind of, like comes out of the top of where the ballrooms are happening, and then they go into small little contraptions that lead into a giant fountain area. And sitting in the fountain area are more unicorns who now are all alert and, and attentive at the fact that there are strangers in here. Uh, there is a giant one, one that looks like it would be five people in one entire suit, just like are, is sitting there in the water. He actually stands up and he's taller than that. You're looking at this man, he's... This man. This horse is this about... This male. Yeah. <laughs> this stallion. This stallion. The stallion's <laughs> probably about 11 feet tall as he stands up. Big... Right, as we're walking in, I'm still just talking to Gilbert about, you know, uh, different games that they have compared to games that I learned when the closer you get to the, the closer you get to this pool, uh, he's starting to shut up. He, I... he's, he's, like, clamming up. He's not responding to you. I do the most respectful bow I can muster, hoping to, to cross any sort of cultural <laughs> language barrier lines to just be like, you know, show that we are not here to cause any harm, do any trouble, and I have the utmost respect for this gigantic unicorn. Ba weep, grown all weep, mini bone. <laughs> <laughs> I hope your joke didn't just damn us. <laughs> no. No, what have you done? What the fuck have you done? Many things. Oh. Many things. Universal greeting. <laughs> no, I refuse. Okay. I refuse. Okay. Roll persuasion, Jack. So good, and then it just rolled just a little bit off. Twelve. Okay, you got your you get you get your proficiency, and you're. It's not bad. The other uh, unicorns kind of like all like look over towards this giant one who's now towering over you. You two, actually, I want you to roll me a perception check real quick. Uh, twenty modified. Fourteen. Apart from the unicorns that are all around here, like, obviously they're, like, the living creatures that are around here, you kind of also take notice that there appears to be what almost looks like a statue of... So, you know, like, sphinxes, right? Like, y the Egyptian, like, cats that look like d with dudes' heads in a cat body? Uh... You kind of see like what looks like the starts, the starting of that in a statue form laying in the back that's like covering the back entrance behind them. It almost looks like it's leading out to a courtyard. That's moving. And it actually like, like it looks like it's made of stone, but it actually like looks like its body movement is made of flesh. Stat it's breathing. It's breathing and looking at this entire meeting take place. I'm not going to say anything out loud just yet, but I feel like that might be our Geo Sphinx. Hmm. That sounds about right. Yep. So the the creature standing before you, like, obviously knows that its height is going to be towering. It kind of like bends its legs down like a horse does to lay down, mm -hmm. si sitting up. It brings it about to maybe eight feet. 
It so lowers its head, still so over it's me, but yes, it lowers its head, so it's still eye level now with the rest of the party. It's been many a millennia since I've spoken to someone of your kind, Elf. And it's a great honor to be the first one to get to speak to you after such a time, Your Highness. Especially a mortal. Yes, well, as you can see, my friends and I, we are here on an expedition. Uh, we, had, we had heard legend of, of a hidden away kingdom down here, and we, we came seeking treasure. I had no idea we would find people, so, like, uh, people such as yourselves not only surviving down here, but I kind of motioned to the, the trogs outside, but in such a plight, I had no idea. There has been no word of your kind on the surface for, as you, as you surely know, millennia. Uh, I just got a map from a cow man. Oh, that must mean that maybe one of the other tribes knew of our plight and pass knowledge onto mortals in the sake that maybe you could assist us in escaping. Well, I mean, we... Now that I know you're here, that is absolutely something I would love to help with. Yeah, I mean, we, we know plenty of ways out, and we actually know an island where you might be able to find a place to live. If there is some way to ferry myself and my family to safety, I would gladly take it. What kind of internal math would I have to do to be like, could this king fit in our little, uh, <laughs> our diving belt? He probably, he probably takes up, like, I mean, he's technically a huge He creature. would be probably, one, he... Or a large creature. He'd be a diving up, bell fit for one. Okay. He probably takes up the space of two people. Dude, 11 uh, feet tall. Like, yeah. I, okay, maybe, like, maybe, maybe, okay, maybe, okay, if he's think, huge, think, maybe four. Think, like, ten spaces. That's how big he is. Yeah, so I mean, like, two spaces, two spaces, yeah. sorry. Yeah, so... Hmm? We may have a way to ferry some of you. It would be it would be a bit of a journey, and it would, it would probably be, be in a few trips. Yeah, it, it would take multiple trips. Um, How many y'all are there down here? That that'd be my next question. After the trogs, multiple sieges upon my family, we would be seventy-five strong. What yeah. once was eight hundred. Ooh, I'm so sorry. Also, nothing says we can't maybe try and find mul more diving bells to get while my trips. While we are technically of that of immortal, that does not mean we cannot die of other means rather than natural state of affairs. If it's anything I've learned, it's death is kind of an inevitability in life. The small one you carry has been touched by it. Him? Oh, yeah, yeah. He, uh, he, went, he went ahead and... Yeah, yeah, he, he, he met. Yes, I can tell. Say hi, R Risp. <laughs> Risp is just like... <laughs> <laughs> he's fucking flabbergasted that he's just like, oh, are you telling me that gods do exist? <laughs> and we're talking to one right now? I mean, didn't you tell one you didn't want to be his... Never mind. <laughs> I told death off! Yeah! Not a wise thing, small one. Especially with one... He, like, narrows his eye down. He, like, gives, like, a little, like, head wobble and snorts. With a short life expectancy as yours. Yeah, we do tend to live for probably 20 years due to unnatural circumstances. I can see you will live longer than this. That's because he's on his way to godhood. Yeah. I think we have an exciting story for this fellow, but... Unfortunately... The only path we seem to know out of here, because in order to help you, you people out, we are going to need to get back to our vehicle safely. And unfortunately, if we just jumped out of the barrier, we're not exactly, well, most of us aren't exactly I... sea folk. Uh, so that would be bad for the group. So we're trying to find a safe passage out of here. You have a very noble goal in rescuing my people. However... It is with a heavy burden to tell you that if I was to move from this very spot, all the barriers would collapse. Wow. They hold a great strain upon me. What if we were to rescue your children first and then come back for you? If you found some way to shepherd my people to this device or whatever you have to give them means of escape, I would mm -hmm. gladly allow this to happen. 
Unfortunately, with the vehicle we have right now, we would not be able to ferry all of them at once. Well, we have some room below deck. Maybe not 75. My thought is getting everyone in the diving bell up to the surface. Oh, that, <laughs> that. Yeah. It's not so much the Yeldon. The Yeldon would be kind of cramped, but I yeah, think it would yeah. be... Yeldon would be cramped and could maybe Do hold them. Do you have a safe passage for my people to escape the barrier without being crushed by the depths? Uh, we've been working on that one. We do have a way up. Uh, I mean, the depths don't necessarily harm me, but... Yeah, that, that'd that be a, a whole lot of trips up and down, though. It would it would take us some time, and... There's sea dragons about? No, just one that we know of. A sea dragon? Yeah, uh, that's one thing that... Uh, we heard that there was a labyrinth, and in the center of it, a certain artifact that would allow us to repel it from this place. Why, yes. That would be past the gardens, through the labyrinth. Yeah, through, uh, Though, unfortunately, and I, with a, heavy, with a heavy heart, I would means to not pass judgment or ill will against you, but your latest escapades with the Dark Ones outside, they have collapsed the bridge over the labyrinth, destroying it. So how are we supposed to get in to it? Are you aware of how this place came to be? Um, as to why this kingdom is below us? We heard it was two titans. Yeah, two battling titans that uh, shifted the earth and sea, and the sea just swallowed this place up. That is correct. How came you upon this knowledge? There's lots of papers back there in the, uh... Yeah. Hold up the other... journal that I found. Yeah. We found lots of books like these. Uh, one such account was in there about Before that. we crossed the bridge over to this way. You went through the wizard's tower. Barely. Yeah, I had there, to, uh, there was a lot of security there, but we made our way through. I had to cut down a lot of things that I'm not sure if had feelings or not. Uh, one of them could feel fear. <laughs> That's certain. Really? I hope their deaths were miserable. Th their deaths and their after deaths. Ah. They didn't seem too happy about nothing, honest. <laughs> yes, it was quite a battle, but I do believe that we managed to strike down as many of them as we could find. We actually had to rescue our small friend here. I motioned to risk uh, his yeah, interaction one, with the ones beyond. <laughs> they, they, they were an agent yeah, and they that. were responsible for it. That would make the most sense. My kind has ties to those who are above mortality. Seeing as agents of the immortals and the elder gods coming to our realm in some way, shape, or form would make far more sense than beyond this realm. So pretty much he's telling you that because of how magically pumped this place is and because unicorns are here... <laughs> Makes sense that you might run into some god... Some workings. god shit, yeah. Just as... Just as our guardian statue behind us is one with the gods. Yeah, I was gonna ask about that. It's breathing. Yes, the Geosphinx is actually our link to the Shrine of Will. No That's the thing. That's the thing. Indeed. If you are here for the Shrine of Will, that means you are here to take its test, are you not? Uh, Did you read of such things inside that book? Uh, yeah, that's, that's what we heard. Would uh, If we took this test of will, it would create some sort of barrier that would repel the dragon. I mean, it's, it's vague, but... If the dragon is what you wish to repel, that is something I can assist you with. But well, beyond that, it would still mean that it would need some sort of power to amplify my magic. And luckily, well, he looks to all of you. I might be impressed, but if you are able to actually surpass the, uh, if you are able to surpass the trial of, of will, you could actually, uh, the reward that you would gain from this, not only would it be a physical reward, but also it would be a blessing, and that would amplify my power greatly. Well, there you go. That does sound helpful. That sounds like our best way out of here. I'm 
sure that would probably help you get rid of some of those trogs too. Ha having a mortal become knighted in the light of Ludarius would actually give not only myself, but this entire barrier uh, vigor and actually expand it, most likely. It might actually be able to help us assist you in getting my people up to the surface. Well, that, that would, be would be very terrific. convenient. I mean, I suppose I, I don't it is. I know about being knighted and all that, but. Yes, formality would be much different. In times of old, this was a test to see if someone was worthy to become part of the clergy of Ludarius. We have never actually had or have ever seen a mortal be, in, uh, be knighted in such a manner. This would be a new experience for most of us. However, I don't recall what the proper terminology would be, but there was a way that if... I'm uh, sorry. Uh, there was a way that if someone was to surpass the trial, they would actually be able to go to one of our other branching kingdoms to, uh, through a certain artifact to take another trial. That might be so a way... transportation. Yes, that might be a way to ferry my people to safety. However, oh. it just would most likely not be where you wish to... You, I assume you wish to leave this place from whence you came from above, correct? Yeah, that'd, that'd probably be pretty... I mean, that's where our boat is. It that, would be helpful, but if it's to save your people, we might be able to figure out a way. If it's only one of us you need, if only one of us is getting knighted, then... Some, Perhaps they could ferry your people, and we will catch up to them later. I do not know if this will work in favor of what we are assuming. Again, we have never seen a mortal become knighted in such a manner. Frankly, I'm not even certain if your purity will be... Hmm. He like looks. He looks like at. The, he looks <laughs> over the rest of you after he says yeah, that. He just looks at the crowd. <laughs> Wake's just kind of like. I mean, Riss is the godliest man I ever knew, and, and Barabbas is a great hero. I bet one of them could do it. You all have a taint of darkness inside of you, except for that one. Looks over to Caster. Bullshit. Really, oh. that one? Yeah, he's he's just more of a taint in general. I can sense Azamar blood inside of him. Uh, it's accurate. Be that be that as it may, if his personality does not befit the trial, he would just be repelled. However, I fear that for someone who does not have Azamar blood inside of them, this might mean death. So if we fail the trial, it might actually kill us if we're not Azamar is what you're saying. I am only making assumptions. Okay. I cannot say if this is true, but yeah, that would... Said no that, mortal's ever been tested like yeah. this before. This is the worst I fear. I mean, when you say get repelled, like... like out are of, talking like out, out, out of, of this bubble, or... Like, yeah, out of the labyrinth, out of the barrier, out of the big barrier up there? What is this referring to? Like, failing the trial? We, yeah, yeah like, if, failing if, the trial, and he, he think, No, get, he means that your soul... <laughs> Oh, our, our soul will evacuate. Kind of sounds familiar, doesn't it? Yeah. A little. That does sound terrifying, and not altogether something we would want to experience, but... I made a promise. I need to keep it. Yeah. I, I, I think the problem here is... Your intentions are pure. I can see that. And if you wish to actually assist in ferrying my people out of here, while there will not be monetary reward... I can assure you that once we obtain passage to the surface, we will find some way to repay you. <laughs> hey, just you guys I, being able to live yeah. free and you being able to move two feet would probably be... I, I motioned to basically all the unicorns that I'm assuming are watching this. I'm like, yep. their, their freedom and safety, as, long, as well as yours, your highness, are all the reward I'll need. Because I didn't realize you were down here. And that very much changes what I want to do. <laughs> This is this has altered my course a little bit, and and what exactly was your goal to be down here? Uh, well, in just to be completely transparent, uh, we need to make a trade. We need a very powerful magical artifact in order to trade for another one that will save an island that is full of people we care about. Roll persuasion. Mm, 
10. With my honeyed words, I assist. <laughs> yeah, you flower them up something pretty. Yeah. We need a rock. We need something really strong to get a rock back to save an island of our friends. He says while he picks his nose. There are others who were trying to help in a, in a similar plight. And well, it's not all that much better, but uh, 14. Um, and I basically just further explain our story. and. Yeah. Painting us in as good a light as I can while also painting the dire situation that we're in. Right. And now being like, and now I recognize you too are in need. And because of that and just the way our crew works, we also want to help you. And we're going to do everything within our power to let both of these goals work out. Due to the bridge collapsing, unfortunately, they're the shortest route into the Shrine of Will is no longer available to you. However... He looks up to the front. He, you turn to see where he's looking, and he's looking out towards where all the trogs were. Mm-hmm. You could, uh, excuse me, you could go around the castle. I'm guessing we'd have to fight our way through some trogs to get there. Unfortunately. Well, it wouldn't be the first fight we've gotten into. I would not wish to mean you uh, any danger, as the trial itself, going through the labyrinth, would have been dangerous enough. It reaches outside of my capabilities of making a barrier. I look over at, at the, the, the Geosphinx. It looks like it could hold up pretty well in a fight. Any way it could assist us? Once it leaves this barrier, it will falter. Understood. Well, unfortunately, we do seem to be caught between a fallen bridge and a scary maze-like place, but I... I think we've really only got one way we can do this, and forgive me, guys, if I'm speaking out of turn, but I think this is the only thing we can do, and I think it's the way we're going to have to do it. We could okay. just leave. That's. I'm sorry. Uh, I know it was your contract that got us here, but that's not an option for the Lockwood Natural Wonders here. Also, how would you uh, propose that we get out from here? Our way back is crushed. Did you not say that there was a way out? Uh, did you not say there was a barrier that we could have forced our way through back to the diving bell. Yeah, but I don't see that anywhere near here. I look back to the... If you feel this is too dangerous for you, uh, mortals, I could release that barrier just a little bit for you to make an escape. Well, I have no intention of leaving. Yeah. Yeah. Barabbas and Castor, if you two wish to go back to the surface, I'm not going to stop you. Same with you, Rist, Red. I'm not going to make anybody go through this. I can't leave without that book. Well, we'll definitely get that back, too. Yeah. It, it'd leave That's a real my, bad that, taste in my mouth to leave 75 people down here to just do nothing. Not to mention you're all unicorns. And, uh, I mean, I've never met your kind before coming down here, but you seem like the type who would love an open space to run, and you don't seem to be afforded that down here. And that's just wrong. Also, you haven't had sunlight in, what, a thousand years? What's the sun? Oh, yeah. you just wait. It's amazing. It's like a big ball of fire in the sky, and it keeps things nice and warm, and it feels really good on your skin. Unless you're like me, but then you just jump in the water for a while, and you're fine. That sounds like something nightmares would do. Uh, it's real nice, trust me. It's better than that. Yeah, this is like warmth for those of us who, who don't have flame and manes all the time. It's not warm like, like you know, a f a, I know it's a big ball of fire, but it's not warm like a fire. It's warm like a hug. I like hugs. There you go. Also, What's are, a hug? Also, there are way more bloatfish up there. <laughs> you can play so much. This kid's just like bucking around now. He's knocking shit over. He's like, yeah, I can't okay. wait. All right, we have to get them up. <laughs> Absolutely. I had decided that as soon as they acted like they were trapped down here. <laughs> we have very little means of supplies to assist you. Most of the materials that the Azimar that used to reside in this place are long since expired. But perhaps there might be something of use to you inside these rooms behind you. We'll I fear there might not be much, though. Well, no matter what it is, we'll look for it, and after that, we'll... I guess we'll be on our way to do the best we can to help you people. Whether or not you fail or succeed, this will come... Uh, this sure, there will be a reward for this, I trust you. 
Wow, I am so fucking tired. I worded that completely wrong. <laughs> You'll well, get it, rewarded. <laughs> you, you will be rewarded in some regard. Well, be it in this life or the next. Trust me. I, I just want to help. All right. I am so. going to roll an investigation in the room on the left. All right. This one right back here. All right, that, that place is, a, is, uh, that is flooded and filled with dragonflies. They just flutter all over the place as soon as you, like, open it up. <laughs> so it's flooded and filled with dragonflies. I mean, there's water in there? Yeah. I'm the best person to search. Yeah. It's an 18 investigation. All righty. Roll the nat 20. Huzzah. All right, let me roll that. <laughs> no, 20 on hidden. You can't find anything. <laughs> oh, they hit it good. They stealthed this item really deep. Wow. Okay, well, one second. Another another item. I'm pretty lucky tonight. You are. This is dumb. <laughs> to be fair, the things I found I can't use, but still. Okay, here we go. If I get some sort of like magical clothing or something like that, bam, that's or like an amulet or a ring. Even then, I'd probably end up giving it to one of you. All right. Yeah. You find a small uh, jewelry box. Uh, there are some rusted pieces of metal, except for one that is re uh, ordained to have a small golden hummingbird on uh, etched out of the ring. I'm guessing it looks kind of pristine. Yes. As opposed to like the rest of it. As opposed to everything else, this is the most pristine item you find in the jewelry box. Hmm. And it's a ring? Yep. I slip it on whichever finger fits. All right. see how it looks. <laughs> Just waiting for mm. to be another one of those fucking mimics that eats your finger. <laughs> and now you're a hummingbird. <laughs> Deal with that. No, you don't feel, uh, you don't feel like it's, uh, you don't feel any different. However, when you move your hand, you almost feel like you see an after image of it. <sighs> Only you see that. There is some unworldly speed added to your hand for that. Oh. <laughs> this seems like really good stuff to have for a monk. <laughs> All right, so I will, since, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to say that it's going to be attuned to you since you put it on, and it's the first thing it's been attuned to for eons. You have just collected a ring of evasion. Fuck. <laughs> That sounds real nice. This ring has three charges, and it regains 1d3 expended charges daily at dawn. When you fail a dexterity saving throw while wearing it, you can use your reaction to expend one of its charges to succeed that throw instead. Well, nice. I don't think I've failed its dex save yet, but damn, will that be useful when that day finally comes, inevitably. Yeah. Yep. That is the one thing you find in that entire room. <laughs> what? Remember, you are in a realm filled with, like, centaurs. <laughs> and that's elven kind, so anything you find in here, it's going to most likely be elvish. All right, I'm going to put my glove back on over the ring. <laughs> <laughs> like it. I'll, uh, I'll check one of the non-flooded rooms. Go for it. Uh, modified 20. Okay. You don't find any materials, however. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let me take a look at something real quick. Sorry, it's taking so long. I, no I, worries. I'm making all. Like, We're getting loot, man. No matter. Yeah. <laughs> take, if you gotta look take through the book time. to find some good loot, that's hey. I gotta make sure I'm not giving you shit that's gonna break the entire game. If it does, don't <laughs> you know? Just find. <laughs> we did almost. We did almost TPK today. F find a reason for it to shatter after you start realizing it's imbalanced. <laughs> I I could go for an umbrella of the great mage Poppins right about now. <laughs> <laughs> That's odd. You found a fully functional submarine that can hold eighty people. <laughs> It can hold 80 horses? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, so you find a room full of 
Nondescript gold. This is a currency that is f completely old and completely flustered. You have no fucking idea if this shit's even, like, some kind of accountability up on the surface. But it looks like gold. Uh, you find a small lockbox that contains maybe 75 pieces of this undetermined currency. 70? It does have uh, Sylvan on it, so you can read it. And it does read... May may the All Father's light guide us. Hmm. Well, he seems like a nice guy. I hope his light does guide us. Yeah. I've been playing alongside too much of God of War. <laughs> alongside of that, <laughs> let me roll this sheet, this uh, little table here, because you did get something wondrous on this uh, dice roll I got. Ooh. Wondrous. Twenty-eight. Now you find a potion of moderate healing. Wondrous. For flavor on the way out, I'm going to grab like a handful of dragonflies and just snack. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had a full meal in a while. I'm going to offer some to risk. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got a 16 in investigation. 16, let me roll for you. Oh, I rolled the trap one. I don't want that. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> you found a mimic. This one's not happy. <laughs> A wondrous item. Neat. Do, 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 do. All right. You find that this was a distillery. Uh, it looked like it had a room full of like really expensive wines by now. The extent of time, these are all... Ah, they it's made like a fine wine in a thousand years. And yeah. Pour out, it's just salt. There's all ash inside of all these <laughs> bottles. All vinegar. However, you do find one that you can't understand the language on it. You want to roll an intelligence check for me? Sure. Uh, 17. All right, you can't tell what the language says, but from what you can uh, read of it, this almost looks like it was written in a giant's tongue. Hmm. Okay. You see what looks like a hand kind of holding a small, like, pod, and that's the brass embroidering of the, uh, of the metal itself holding the potion. The potion is still good. Like, you're looking yeah. at this. This liquid is, like, a deep, deep, dark purple. You pop the cork, you sniff inside of it. No, it's still pretty good for consumption. Seems safe. I'm yep. just not entirely sure what it does. No, uh, no, you do not. Okay. But like you, like I said, it does have the depiction of a, what a big hand. It's a big hand, and written on the hand is something in uh, in, in giant. giant. Probably gonna give me something with strength. But before I just try and test this out, I'll just pocket that strange giant potion. Yep. Uh, for, as for food-wise, if you guys wanted, like, to refill on, like, provisions and whatnot, the unicorns can actually assist you with that. Uh, you watch as Gorik kind of, like, looks to the other unicorns and kind of whinnies at them. They tap their horns together, and they create what looks like a stalk of this weird vine that creates a small fruit that you can put in your hand, and it's, like, probably, like, the size of, like, two plums. Taking a bite out of it, it actually gives you the illusion of a full meal of your choosing. A sensu bean. <laughs> God damn it. I'm just eating my, I, I, I'm eating my dragonflies. I graciously take one and have a bite. Yep. Yep. Did so I. describe to everyone Ezra's favorite meal. All right. Ezra has been kind of out in the cold sea for a while and just kind of been doing a bunch of a bunch of stuff getting roughed up, feeling exhausted. So he is, it, when he bites into this fruit, it tastes like a, a really hearty uh, beef stew. And it's just like the most comfort food imaginable. And just like, oh yeah, I just eat this. And now I just want to relax and just feel <laughs> calm, feel better, nice and full. And just, but also like full of carbs and protein to just like kind of make you feel, give you energy, but at the same time, very, very just comfort foody. Max HP plus eight temporary. Nice. Wake dives into the uh, dragonflies, and they 
Tastes a little sour at first, and they kind of move in the mouth. Uh, mm -hmm. The texture is mm -hmm. a little off, but uh, like you get some stuck in his teeth. Like, uh, but overall, it's 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 meaty. Uh, Ki kind of a little rank tasting, but you know what? It's 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 a good meal today. Okay, well, <laughs> you don't you don't get the bonus. You get no you bonus don't. from. <laughs> you're, you're just eating dragonflies. You're not eating the fruit that was offered. Fine, I'll eat a fruit. <laughs> Describe his comfort food. Uh, tastes like Grammy's delicious cuttlefish stew. <laughs> <laughs> One second, I gotta roll something different now. <laughs> Can't say. The idea pops in his head. Can I take one of these? Like, to go? Like, do you have a box? <laughs> well, it's store. Do we have an airtight flask? So, you take a bite, and you pretty much, like, since you just pop that into your head, whatever Grammy's, like, delicacy you could think of that has been the most palatable on your tongue is now there. You don't understand. Wake has made all of the saves against Grammy stuff. He likes her cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. Mm. Full HP plus two temp. Yeah, plus two temp. Is that on top of my uh, temp hit points from the medallion? Yes. Okay. And you? It uh, tastes like that, that famous... Asinine Centaur Delicacy, the triple meat skewer. It's got squirrel, iguana, and and pigeon. Just all all three meats just mingling together. And he says, <laughs> three mm, food groups. Mmm. Hey, just freshly cut hay. Thank you so much. The taste, that's what it tastes like. <laughs> you tribe of vegetarian people. <laughs> Full HP plus ten. Wow. Ooh. The best. Out of us. Sometimes the grotiest foods are always the best. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not something he would recommend to anybody, but to him it tastes like home. <laughs> All right. So with that, you guys are pretty much have checked the other rooms. Nothing really else is there that they can help you with. The uh, unicorns can use their magic to like pretty much get you back up to full speed. You guys mm -hmm. had that small portion of food that pretty much gives you the illusion of whatever kind of food you wanted to put in your mouth at this point is there. <laughs> Did any of our other friends eat or do anything? Or? Yes, everyone has partake oh, okay. uh, has partaken in the food. Re everyone looks like they they eat it, and then all of a sudden you just see like the most ecstatic look on their faces instantly. No matter like each of their food tastes are probably radically different, but they still get the <laughs> same satisfaction. Everyone's excited with what they're eating right now. Excellent. Uh, with that, Gorg pretty much tells you that he can't move from mm -hmm. this spot. Uh, no one else can really assist him. Like, probably the unicorns can maybe, like, use some of their magic to push the, like, trogs who are, like, up against the wall away. Mm -hmm. But that's about as much as they could do. After that, you're pretty much on your own. Is there uh, any way we could talk to that uh, Geosphinx back there? The creature does not speak common. Oh, well, that's very inconvenient. What about Sylvan? We have not attempted to see if this thing speaks that of the Elvish. Allow me to uh, allow me to ask. <laughs> hey, Earl! <laughs> <laughs> he turns around and you watch as his horn turns a bright orange, and the eyes inside the Geo Sphinx turn orange as well. <laughs> so. Liven, not so well. well. It seems like it gets an idea. It's but. broken. <laughs> I mean, I, I know about it enough to, to ask for the bathroom, but heck, I'll try. Hi there! I'm Eloy. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I am fluent in Elvish, if that's what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. No, this creature is speaking completely broken Elvish. Like, it's not working whatsoever. Okay. Like, this is, like, high school-level, like, Elvish it's trying to get at you with. All right. Well, getting any... really self-conscious and embarrassed about it. Mm, just oh. shuts down. <laughs> <laughs> well, was there any kind of message you really wanted to send aloft to it? It doesn't seem to understand not really, very not, well. Not, not really a message. I was just curious if we could communicate with it. It seemed pretty important. Mm. Like, thought, you know, may as well try. No, I, I get you. We, 
We might be able to get ideas across, but as far as a dialogue, I don't think that's in the cards. Oh, well, fair enough. Uh, he could have been able, pretty much the idea is he could have been able to help you guys, or at least, like, meet you at the shrine if he went through the maze, but with the rocks blocking the way now, there's no way he can do so. Well, now we're doing it on our own. <laughs> yeah. Well, All right. I guess we'll I go ahead and face the trogs we'll Do out another the front bow there. and bid adieu and basically say, hey, uh, I hope we're able to help you. Right on. Can we so, just, how time sensitive are we? Can we just take a short rest real quick? I, I get my bardic inspiration back on a short rest. So I, if you guys want to rest for maybe like an hour or two, I'll allow two and right. that can assist you. Yeah, that would, leave, I mean, uh, that would set us at 22 hours. Okay. We're doing the best we can, but sometimes time limits are broken. All right, with that, let me just double check if the map is available. Sure Good thing. Tra -la, tra -la -la -la. Achibity, tra -la -la -la. Oh no, a tidal wave pushed ah. us all away. The barrier was not friendly. No, this works. It'll do. Yeah. Pardon me. I have a new puppy. It keeps me up <laughs> and wakes me up early. I was I was so happy today. I was taking Minnie for a walk, and I ran into my next-door neighbor, and she happened to mention, I have never heard her barking while you're away. Like, okay, yes. good. That, that makes one of my neighbors. Because <laughs> I have gotten noise complaints about her. <laughs> or a noise complaint. But I, apparently my leaving talk radio playing so she has something to listen to while I'm gone was successful. That's good. Hooray. Maybe the people around you just don't like Sean Hannity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all that Alex Jones you're blaring. That's <laughs> <laughs> when I told Alexa to, to play NPR and ah, after, okay. after some cajoling, it, it came up with Nevada Public Radio, oh, <laughs> which is the Las Vegas NPR station. It's like, you know what? It it's works. fine. Okay. So. All right. <laughs> So here's the thing is that when you guys were ushered to go out the front, the unicorns stayed inside the barrier, but then you watched as they all used their magic to repel the <laughs> uh, push. Yeah, they all they all pretty much used their horns and combined magic enough that like all the trogs like obviously new shit was happening and like, oh no, we know this song and dance. They fucking book it. Okay. Like you watch as they all fucking leave at the sight of the unicorns from behind the barrier. They knew they were not stupid enough to want to venture out. And they're like, oh, no, we don't want to deal with this. So it has now taken you, like, you look outside this courtyard and you walk through pretty much a dead landscape from, like, where the, the lush green from the inside of the barrier is now turning into, like, wasteland dust. Uh, you guys walk across the front moat. It takes you an hour to traverse the castle grounds. Jeez, okay. 23. <laughs> and you are now face-to-face -face with back outside of the, uh... You know where the mountainside was where you saw the barrier? Like, you could actually see that there are towers laced across the barrier, uh, that go outside to the ocean. Where you're walking now is pretty much, like, if you went around the mountainside, you could actually make it towards where the diving bell is. Okay. Uh, uh, where are we in relation to that bridge we were crossing earlier? Like, is it above us? Or? It's above you. Okay. You guys pretty much, when you went inside the mountain, you went up, and the mountain fell on top of the location where, or at least broke the location where the tower should have been going to, so you pretty much got like a dilapidated version of the tower. Okay. But that also means that you're pretty much on the outskirts of Pabs Ravi's cave. Yeah. Great. But from where you guys are, uh, there seems to be a small pathway that leads to another end of the mountain that goes around the castle, but you're going to have to go through the town where you saw the trogs running away in the first place to get to it. So basically where that circle is at the end, you have to get to the avenue that leads off into the north there. Okay. In front of you, though, you are seeing that there are trogs trying to, like, just climb in and out of the mountain to see what's going on. I nudge Eloy. How much of a range does your illusions go? Uh, 
Illusions like 30 feet. All right. Sounds like if the dragon's cave is not that far away, maybe we can trick the trogs into thinking we're going there and just lure them inside. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's a bit farther of a distance than that. Yeah, yeah. Illusions, illusions is is fine work. Something, something a little cruder, like that, like that Image. pattern of lights that makes them all bibbly. That's, that'll go like four times that, but. Mm. That's not exactly tricking people into yeah. seeing an object or people. Yeah, I can't make them see nothing specific at that kind of range. Where you're standing right now is to the left of you is the mountain, but there's also some broken houses. Mm -hmm. This looks like this used to be like the the road of like a town a town folk area. This used to be like just outside of the castle limits. Gotcha. To the right of you are other uh, buildings, but again, time and dilapidation and the only light source that's coming down on you is the glow of the shield that's protecting you from the water caving in mm -hmm. so you're only getting like secondhand light at this point I load an explosive bolt just in case alrighty so you guys are pretty much in the middle of the street unless you want to do something else well I mean if our goal is to get to that pathway up there yes I think the uh, what, what is this, like, wall? Like, are we just in, like... You're in a, you said we're it's in a moat, It's right? like broken cobblestone. Okay, but, uh, okay, and it's, it's these square rooms off to the side, are those just, like... Buildings. buildings? Okay. So there's a wall, and there's buildings behind the wall. Gotcha. Yeah. It's not really a wall so much as it's just indication that that's where the street ends, and there's, like, a sidewalk there's, that okay, leads Oh, okay, there. okay. That makes sense. Um... Stealthing around behind that building into that alleyway over there would probably be the best. I could see that. Yeah. yeah. Just, Basically, I do that with, like, I, I point to that <laughs> alleyway because we see all these trogs here. Yeah, they're all, like, all those trogs you're seeing right now, they're, like, hanging out in locations that are, like, either inside the wall or around, like, areas where they're, like, trying to be in, like, caves and whatnot, like, inside the mountainside. So I'm going to attempt to stealth over here. All right, roll a stealth check. Uh, to do 16. Not my best, but I am all right. Very no, proficient. you may you uh you pretty you pretty much walk your way over towards where the street yeah. ends and I, you I, like, hide behind a building down, and then I dark souls roll over to the <laughs> like corner, look over left right, and then I just like kind of wave over. Yeah, nothing has noticed you as of right now. All right, I'll try and follow. Also stealthily. Hey, 23. You can have everyone else follow. So far, nothing has happened. Okay. Oh, what was your roll, Grant? Uh, 19. Yeah, everything's fine. Uh, can I just say that they're following us, and yeah, sure, in the yeah. event of combat, we'll put them down? Okay. That'll be a lot easier. Yeah. All right, so... Uh, dun, 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 dun. I, I point to Ezra and just motion like, what's around that corner over there? Not the best. Uh, Twelve. Stealth the perception out. around the yeah, corner. Yeah, yeah. To, to to look around. You're looking around that corner. Yeah. Mm. Uh, around that corner, you're actually seeing like what looks like. So the house, like, begins to form, and then as it turns the corner on the opposite side, it's cut off and broken away, but what's remaining there what looks like a small wall of flesh and small arms kind of, like, waving in the distance. <sighs> I can't wait to see how you try to describe this. There's... There's, like, hands coming out of the wall, like, just arms sticking out of the wall that... I don't know what's oh, fuck. Uh, wake peeks around. Ten for perception. You see tiny sticks waving in the distance. You can't see that far in the dark. There's, there's something out there, but it's like it's moving. But it's coming out of the house. It's like it's like a blob of something coming out of the house and sticking out of the blob or little dangly like appendages. Huh. 
that sounds horrifying. Let me see if Riss <laughs> rolls in. I lift up my crossbow. Should I blow it up? Let I me mean, see I'll what Riss says. All the trogs. I guess we could go down a different alleyway, <laughs> cause a distraction. Riss R- R- kind of like taps you on the shoulder. What was it again? It, like, like, it looks like just a blob of hands and arms moving. That's not quite sure if they're waving in the wind or if they're like actual muscles going. That sounds but. like a brood. What's that? Yeah. That's a. <laughs> it's the female version. It's the creature that creates more of them. We should probably kill that in general, maybe. Yeah, that or seems like something we should definitely get rid of. If we can sneak past it, though. What's uh? Is the is the roof of this building flat? Could we go over the roof? How tall uh, is this building? This building looks like it's two stories. Oh, you can get over it. I've got pittance. Roll stealth. Man, rolls are bad tonight. Uh, 11. Uh, putting these pittance into the wall, you're making a lot of creaking noises. You do make it to the top of the roof. Uh, the roof is not flat. Okay. It is, uh, it is... Slope? Yeah, it's sloped. Okay. Uh, you make it all the way to the top. Walking across the flattened part, that's fine. You could do that. But you, uh, you peek over. Roll me a perception check. Uh, 19. There is what looks like a bloated frog face sticking up out of the ceiling looking to the sky. That thing's tall. <laughs> Peer my head back over and just try to whisper down. That brood thing is really big. Its head is a b- peeking out over the ceiling. Well, on the plus side, that might mean it's stuck in the house. Okay. Barabbas looks to you, but that also means that it possibly can just break its way through the house. We don't know if this thing's possibly just sitting down. Again, not to sound over <laughs> over anxious, but I would lift up my crossbow. I think an explosion in its mouth might uh, solve our problem. I don't know if it'll solve our problems, but it certainly would get their attention. I, I think that might solve one problem and make a whole lot more. Oh, fair enough. I mean, See, this is why this is why we have a dialogue. This is why I'm a captain and I talk to people. <laughs> I mean, I can. You can go into the house from the second floor. The window's right there. Oh, we sneak through the house. That sounds safe. I mean, its head's above gro- ground. It sounds like the safest option I've heard. Right. Where you can get in is from the roof. You guys would be able to get in through the window at the bottom on the I first floor. I could probably scale up to the second floor if there's a window there. Eloy, do you want to throw me some rope and I can just have it anchored down? <laughs> yeah, sure. I'd, I'd throw him, throw him my rope. All right. Uh, you fashion pretty much the rope to be anchored on the inside of the building? Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'd, gonna try I'd to do like look a, for either like a like a post or something that that would be. Uh, roll me anchored. an investigation check to look inside the building. Uh, eleven. Eleven. All right. Uh, it is really fucking slimy inside this room. There is ichor hanging from the ceilings and ichor all over the floor. You step inside, you try to find something to anchor onto it. You do, no, you do have uh, a window post. Like, you have okay. the post that you could grapple onto it. Around this is laced with eggs. I'm going to Jackie Chan jump my way up to that window. <laughs> like, you know, hop, hop, hop. Oh, man, wall jumps? Yeah. Roll acrobatics. Time to roll to see if anyone notices. Guys, this room is really gross and lots of eggs and slime. All right, uh, my Jackie Chan hop is a 22. Yeah, you hop inside. Holy Ro- fuck, this shit's gross. Yeah, you're now standing in the middle of the room. Ew. Hey, okay. It smells really bad in here. Uh, can you do me a little favor? There is a, th- this room, though, you do see that the door is open and there's a hallway you could walk inside of. But the, it looks like the ichor still continues inside. Can you do me a quick favor, Wake? You've got the power to just, like, summon little flames, right? I mean, yeah, I also have, like, a crap ton of lantern oil. I want to see if this stuff is flammable. Okay, I'm going to throw this out there. We are standing in the middle of it. No, 
as we get out, as we exit, we, we set off a beacon, which will gather attention for us to get away. And also, you know, fry some eggs. I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna like pinch a little bit of the icker <laughs> and just like, like just kind of get like a finger of it and like see you if You put my, your finger inside of it? I mean, my feet are already in it. I know. Yeah, so I'm like. But you put your hand inside of it. You're touching I, it with. I dip a you, finger. I know, but you're touching with, it with, with bare, bare flesh. flesh. That's, that's, I have that's, a glove. <laughs> oh, he does have a glove. That I have okay. stated that I'm wearing. Roll me a survival check. Just like messing with it on the glove. Uh, survival 13. Well. <laughs> Touching it. Yeah, obviously, like all this ichor is going to be sticky. You could, yeah. you could basically gauge that. This feels like an adhesive, but looking at it, something is swirling inside this ichor that makes it almost seem like the word unholy pops in the back of your head. <laughs> okay. Oh God, help me! No, <laughs> please tell me this isn't just a giant jizz shack. <laughs> are, we, are we just hanging out in a? I meant it to be cursed. <laughs> okay, that's better. <laughs> I meant it more to be cursed, Nick. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hear movement. I'm walking around on a bunch of ichor, and there's eggs everywhere. You know what? At this point, I'm going to fish uh, Granderfault back out and put him back in his loop. Oh, yeah. That's fair. Hey, what do you know about the ways of trogs? Because I, th I think they just went into their nest. Trogs? What are... Oh, my God. What is this place? What have we done? <laughs> where, did you, where did you take me? I take the blind off for one second, and we're in hell? <laughs> We're, we're trying to sneak through without them seeing us or hearing us more, more importantly right now. Why? What the fuck? What is happening? Because they're between us and where we need to get. What the fuck happened in the past like couple of hours that you put the blindfold on me? I have nothing. I have no idea what trogs are about. This is all new and alien to me. Cool. <laughs> Great. Well, we're all in the same boat then. Just thought I'd check. Thanks. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to hold it away from me as I try to, like, ignite it. Just... You ignite it? Just, just like a tiniest, the tiniest flame, I assume. The flame flickers through the ichor for a hot second, but then the flame turns black and then fizzles. I look at you. All right, that doesn't look exactly explosive or... Like it'll cause a bonfire, so maybe not. I just start opening up pots of lantern you oil. You hear snickering coming from the dying flame. Like like a person snickering. <laughs> like <laughs> Don't you laugh at me. That's the scariest shit I think I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> and we live with Grammy. <laughs> I'm just going to start opening pots of lantern oil and dumping them in the room. I don't know if I like this route. Well, I don't know if I have any other You put the right oil there. inside the room? I, I dump a little bit in the ichor. The liquid begins to bubble and foam, and it turns into the ichor itself. Well, this is that's a waste of good lantern oil. Yeah. I, pull, I cork it back up and put it back in my bag. Give more, please. Oh, well, I mean, uh... Like what, Hold what, on, this doesn't seem like something we should park it with. I, I'm just saying, if it's a way through. Like, what, what kind of Your stuff Your patronage you... is welcome. Give more to the brood. Uh, well, like, what are you looking for? Like, can we just get, like, passage through here? Like, I poke my head out. <laughs> I poke my head out. The yeah, Wade's just talking to Icar <laughs> right yeah. now. I poke my head out the, <laughs> the, the, the window. Hey, Risp, uh, broods, can they, like, can they be houses? <laughs> What? <laughs> this, there's like some snot. I feel like we're inside like a, I'm beginning to think we're inside like a nose because there's like some cursed mucusy stuff and it's talking to us. Talking to me, technically. Yeah. Um, Specifically to wait. Tess, uh, let's see, risk <laughs> fucking <laughs> cast detect good or evil. I'm sure it's certainly evil. Doesn't mean it's well. He that. rolled high enough on this roll. I, feel Let's like see I don't even need to detect could, evil to know something. Piece There's it some together. There's bad juju in this jizz jizz. God! It's it's sentient semen. <laughs> the 
trogs have spread their seed far and wide. <laughs> our editing, our, our poor tech guy is like losing his mind. Anyway. It's not coming. I, I could sense something else from it. Shut up, Ben. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I think the coming's already happened. It's, it's... I can walk away from this right now. <laughs> you said it, not me. I know. <laughs> We're in the afterglow here, Riz. <laughs> There's, like, yeah, I think something happened here, and I'm glad we missed it. <laughs> There's a being that is the house, but it's not the brood mother. Okay, so there's... There's something here, but it's not the brood itself. It's specified for paying patronage to the brood, but okay. I mean, like, I, like, would we? Would you just like let us through if we like gave you something? Like, no, I mean, that we, means you're giving yourself to the brood. No, 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 nope. no, 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 nope. no, 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 no. That's all not, right, that's not that's I... not what I'm saying at all, really. Um, I just I'm just looking for a way past here. Like we're. We're on our way to something else. It just Are you to... a unicorn? No. Kind of the opposite, you actually. You smell I'm a... of one? Oh, we met a few. The window shuts. Poof. Well, that seems kind of rude. All right. Well, Honestly, like, we're just, we're here having a civil all conversation. All right, everyone. Uh, you too, unfortunately. <laughs> you guys watch as the window shuts Slam. loudly. I'm gonna peer around the other to the main street, see if uh, it looks like anybody is reacting to that. <laughs> the broom just, arr, arr, from the top <laughs> from atop the building. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and put these down, like put put these. <laughs> I rolled in that one so they don't hear shit. Oh great. As if some demonic alarm goes off. <laughs> the, the siren call. Ah, uh, your your damnation security has gone <laughs> off. Is everything all right? Please check your phone. Uh, we have trucks coming in with hot blankets and some uh, warm blankets and some cocoa. Do you mind <laughs> opening that? I just really wanted to talk to my friends real quick. The where you place the oil begins to bubble. I hand you a crowbar. Hey, this might be able to help open the door, and you're stronger than me. All right. <laughs> you don't seem to wish to alarm everyone else, so I would wisely guess against that. I mean, like... As I, the bubbling begins to make a form, a hunched troglodyte rises from it. This friend of yours... I'm sorry, what do I call you? You're, you call yourself the Brood. Is this like... A, do I just call oh, you Oh, I am not the Brood. Quite the opposite. I am he who oh, delivers you're... unto the Brood. Oh, oh, this is your package. <laughs> 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 we we, we, we stumbled into your special delivery. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, what is this? <laughs> okay, okay. So this is uh, th uh are are uh, do you? I am Ukalvac. Ah, Kalvac. Okay, good. We have a name. Uh, this uh, this a friend of yours? Uh, this I am the Alpha of this. In, I am the alpha of the troglodytes. Very nice to meet you. Yeah, you're, you uh, were giving us quite a lot of trouble as we were trying to make it over to the side. Oh, is that what the boys were up to? Oh, that's... Yeah, they threw a lot of rocks. <laughs> <laughs> ah, bless their demonic little underhearts. I hope they died slowly. That was against my wishes. A few of them probably did. Well, uh, good, good. We can salvage their blood. More unicorn blood for the brood. Excellent. See, look, we're, ma we're making lots of progress here. Yes, yes, yes. Now it just brings us to you. Why are you here? Uh, we're on our way. You see, we, we were going to go leave. Yeah, we, we were... Uh, oh, that's impossible just... now. I want something. I want to hear what else you're here for. You couldn't have come all this way to a place that's been lost to the ocean for years and years <laughs> to come. I just throw my hands up, acting as if, all right, you got me. Uh, we're, we're, we were, we're a group of treasure hunters, uh, and we were charged with exploring this area in, in, in search of riches. Yeah, we got this map from a cow man in a tower somewhere. Yeah. So we were, we were here seeking wealth and riches. We stumbled upon your people and a dragon. Uh, I don't know if you have a neighbor <laughs> or something. But, oh, uh, we know of him. He came years ago, a few years ago. 
Yeah. How, how do you feel about him? Yeah. Like, what's your relations? <laughs> relations? What relations? If it were up to me, I'd find some way to steal his heart and give it to the brood. Right. Great. See, this is like now Perfect. we're agreeing here. Ah, See, good. he's got something we want. Yeah, he's and got something we, we can... want. He's got something you want. Yeah, his maybe heart, this could be namely. A, we, maybe this could be a you scratch our back, we scratch yours. He's got a book. You know, you, you guys look. Not to judge. You don't, you you don't, don't really seem like the reading that. type. Um, and. Uh, I don't know. He do glares you? at you when you say that. That's kind of. I mean, that's kind of rude. That's I mean, they, they fair, probably fair read enough. a little bit. I mean, I, they know about silence. The Fine. <laughs> One step at a time, please. You, elf, yes. speak. We came down here in search of wealth, riches, and fame. Uh, charged by one Edward Castor Esquire, a holy lawyer, something or other. He's got some crazy long title. Uh, Sounds like a douche. Oh, oh, <laughs> I like you. <laughs> If he sounds like it, he doesn't sound half the douche he is. Anyway, uh, we're we were contractually obligated to escort him around here in search of, of riches. Uh, and then we found a lot of danger in the form of your, your uh, kin. And Yes, unfortunately. When one devours unicorn blood, they wish to obtain more of it. Unfortunately, it makes you immortal, but starved for more blood. Uh, oh, that's rough. What that's you rough. walked upon were, unfortunately, the end result of those who haven't eaten in years. I see. Well, I apologize. <laughs> so, let, I, I apologize. Water come, under come. that shattered oh, bridge. Oh, of back course, there. of course. Please, allow, the, uh, please, come this way. Let us go speak with the Evergrudge. Ooh, I, I mean, like... Uh, Nonsense! I insist this way. I'm sure you do, but we are actually on kind of yeah, a time Yeah, we're kind of in a hurry, and we're But you to... came for treasure, did you not? Yeah, we... Perhaps have... you could help me! You could bring the Evergrudge to others! Oh, uh, it, what, what's that, uh, but How does you, that you mentioned tw treasure, though. Yeah, that is our treasure! The it's... Evergrudge! I don't... See where we the from? first one to devour unicorns! That's wow, that amazing. is impressive. Real impressive. You just watch him give this wicked smile. You're watching a giant, like, t robed toad man covered in ichor, just like, kind of like, come here, give your old man a hug. Come on, get in here. Let's go. Like, come on. I'll give you a fist bump. <laughs> <laughs> it's a greeting where I come from. Like, you know, you tap I don't together, uh, like, it's uh, Eloy's head broke. Roll persuasion. Up. <laughs> you climb the rope up to the window. <laughs> Uh, 15 in persuasion. <laughs> what? Yeah? Ugh. Well, if this is how the surface dwellers do it nowadays. Boom, yeah. There Your fists see. are now stuck together. Ew, gross. Okay, uh, we're going to need to work I this I like one this. Out. This mm. is fun. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to slip my glove off. That's a glove lost. <laughs> ah, something for the other grudge. Yeah, Wonderful. Yeah, go ahead and like, consider that a gift. He just watches the glove sinks into his flesh. All right. Well, uh, so it's Eloy. Not, it's not Eloy. You wish, huh? I I want you to roll me a perception check. Uh, Sixteen. One of the flailing little hands now has a glove. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an expensive glove, but I like it. <laughs> so the so the Evergrudge takes like offerings. Is that how this works? Is that yes, yes, yes. But listen, if we, well, here's the thing. Uh, let me explain this to you. So, um, yeah, tell me, tell me the whole story. Let me explain to you the Evergrudge. <laughs> now, see, when when we, our home was unceremoniously taken away from the mountain and thrown here, we were how just rude. I I know it's so rude. Were you like? Forgive me, I've never met any of your kind before. Uh, how how old are you? Were you there for that? Like, are you are you a being who has existed? Oh, we don't know. My people don't know years. We've kind of just been here ever since the mountain was moved. Okay, so you so you don't remember a time for your people living on the surface? No, of course not. We okay. we, we weren't to, able to. You know, we didn't think that a titan would just come over, lift up our entire home, and just throw it across the entire yeah, that's, ocean. Yeah, that's one, silly. One, one of our <laughs> friends has an issue with a mountain too. Like they're just. Real ass. Oh, he sounds like a good friend. Is that him outside right there? Yeah, that's him. <laughs> Eloy, no, 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 don't. You have more friends. Good. More for the Evergrudge. Hold on. I'll Look, be right I'm back. Saying, I'm going I'm to go explain this. Again, again, we aren't really offering ourselves. Okay, bye. 
I got these glass beads, and I don't know, maybe if they get offered, something real fun will happen, or something real bad for all of us will happen. I, either way, I think it'd be a decent distraction. Okay, okay, good good idea. Like, just... I, I'm sure the Evergrudge would love it. <laughs> yeah, that's my thought. Hi. Welcome back. I told the brood you're here. Oh, good! Oh. We have friends now. Well, I mean, everyone else now who has drank unicorn blood knows you're here. Great! Are they all going to be in one place? One... Small confined. Oh no, area? they're 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 off doing what they do I best. Would love okay, great, great. The, um, it's just us right now. Don't worry. But, what, what does unicorn blood taste like? Oh, it tastes like metal. Just 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 raw concentrated metal turned into liquid. It just t- it tastes so bad, but your body feels great when you have it. Huh. Okay, I'll uh, probably pass on that. Never would been you like to drink some? No, thanks. I'm good. Well, that's okay because then that would mean we would just Did drink you take the a other fruit from. The unicorns? Nah, I don't. I, oh, I don't you, think they ever actually offered one okay. for me to go. Because I was like, because if this can taste like anything you want, maybe we have a solution for this problem. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> no, it. Unfortunately, that that is our blight. When we we didn't know we were when we took of the unicorns. Like, that's what they were calling themselves. So we just ran with it. Mm-hmm. What happened was is when we took a bite of it, we found out that most of us could not die. Oh, okay. That's crazy. Yeah, so if you could actually kill one of our boys out there, that'd actually be an amazing feat, because it's impossible. Well, I mean, I mean, we presume it died. I, I guess we didn't see it. Oh, I'm sure, they'll, I'm sure they'll come back in like a few hours from Probably now. Probably injured at the very least. It did fall quite a long way. Oh, yes, well, we, we do have a few of ours who are less pretty than they used to be eons ago. Mm-hmm. But anyway, so this is how this works. We drank of the... We, we ate the flesh. Okay. And uh, we started to find out that None of us could age. Oh, that's... We just, we, we just could not stop living. And after a while, it addles your brain, because it's kind of stupid that every time you kind of wish for death and the sweet release of it all, it never comes! It never comes! But then we stopped and said to ourselves, we really like the taste of this blood. It'd be mm-hmm. really nice if we could just get some more. And now it's all we we're asphyxiated with. We, we put the blood inside the brood, and then all of us feel it. Wow, that's crazy. That's, that's amazing. So I mean. anything that you have that you could offer us, I mean, like, you know, it's just great. The, the Evergrudge, the, our elder, the, the first one to partake in blood, he's my father, by the way. Oh, oh wow. He's my father. I still have his corpse. Come, come, let, let's take a look. Oh, man, yeah, let's, let's look at the dead corpse. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> Hey, you, you got some of that wine still, right? I oh, mean, they, yeah. They probably, the brood would probably love yeah, that. Yeah, you probably like oh, this. Oh, everyone would love to be intoxicated. Yeah, pour it, pour it, pour it, pour all that I, wine I, down I there. I have my three quarters of a bottle of fine wine, and I just start dumping it. <laughs> you just watch as, like, what you assume are orifices start leaking wine from him. Good, huh? All right, yeah. Unfortunately, I can't taste it. Oh, but that's too is, bad. Is, 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 is effect? But you feel it, it, You're right? now watching the house bleed wine. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just curious, like, how your people have been down here for a long time, it sounds like, and you're demanding offerings. So that means, like, things from the surface. Oh, we can't, de- no, listen, we can't demand. You're, you're the first company I've had in years that speaks a different language. <laughs> that, that really I'm, I'm, very, I'm very well versed with that of the common folk. I, I, you know, see, I tried to lead the charge into being a little bit more civil with the surface dwellers, but of course, you know, we're trogs. They hate our faces. They right. hate us. They, yeah, we, no, are, they, we look they, gross. You know, they, they you, you almost fa- look like one of those drow. And, you know, the drow were real fucking assholes. You know, the, the know surface dwellers didn't them. really like my people either. Like, oh, like, isn't it the worst? They're awful. I have oh. to disguise myself when I go into towns. He's ushering you to, like, go into the next room with him. Okay. So... <laughs> So the things I just drop in here as offerings, like your 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 whole people will experience the whole brood. Right, but y- you see, I've, I've kind of come to the conclusion that we're just all doomed down here unless we can get inside the, the castle and everything. Doomed to lose your mind to the to the thirst for unicorn blood. Of course, of course, because so, you can't because you can't die. So you know? here's something I'd like to actually bring to you. Hold on. So he brings you into this room that is just. You, you, you feel like whispers of other creatures talking to you in every part of your body. <laughs> you hear voices in your head saying like, La, yes, hello, yes, uh, yes. And it's all the same voice, too. Uh, so, uh, he walks over to a, to a bed. It, 
there looks like there's someone underneath the sheet and it's like sogging with all this ichor. Oh. Of course it is. Yep. I bet the smell in here. I've is been great. to college. Mm -hmm. He uh he goes, so let me introduce you to my father. Releases the sheet, and there's like what looks like a writhing corpse just sitting there in the bed, like going. Oh, hey there, hey there, Papa Trog. How are you doing today? Yes, it, we we call him the Evergrudge. Hello, Evergrudge. <laughs> yes. Do you uh, so? <laughs> my father, he he's still alive. He's still he's actually still living. He can't die. Wow, it's it's horrible. I can every time he just picks up an axe from the floor. Every time I try. Oh, can I try? Yes. Here, here you go. Uh, okay. <laughs> I go for the neck. You watch as the head detach itself, but then slinky itself back on. That is crazy. That's I weird. Know. Yeah, we, we can't. He can't die, and also, um. Ah, uh, you, you, I, I'm, I'm glad you did that because uh, when you like roll, roll me a Constitution saving. Of course. Uh, that is a con is plus two seventeen. He like looks you over. He's like dangerously like invading your personal space. He's not uh, touching, but he's like per personal bubble, please. Oh, you haven't been chosen by the Evergrudge just yet. That's unfortunate, unfortunate indeed. That's too bad. You, you, but it's sometime, I, I, if I you're just, the I just of, leave the axe in his neck. Yeah, if you're the kind of person who loves immortality, I, I, would, I would love to offer you a piece of the Evergrudge. Uh, immortality's not really my thing. Oh, oh, I understand, I understand. Sometimes it's nice to die. Yeah. Uh, it's just I really mean, nice! It probably, yeah, you know, it's, it's a freedom that I look, I don't necessarily look forward to it, but it's not something that I. It's I'm... a nice way out. Oh no, of course not. We all like to party sometimes. Absolutely. I, life, life's a big, big old it party. It really is. But and when it ours just never stops. So. That does sound terrible. Well, we do have the brood mother here. This is this is my mom, by the way. Say hello. Hello, Mrs. Brood mother. Hi. You here from outside? <laughs> and all the arms start waving. They're way more cordial than I imagined. <laughs> Yeah, this. So, um, I have a question for you. For me? Oh, uh, both of you, oh, anyway. Okay. Uh, you, the collective you. The collect, uh, yeah, yeah, collective you. The collective you. So, um, I can't help but notice that you entered from where the castle is coming from. Do you know of a way inside to get the unicorns? You know, we just kind of snuck our way through yeah, there. Yeah, they, they didn't like, seem to like us either, so we kind of just slipped on by. Kind of like burst through that barrier. They, they were very cross with us. I have a proposition for you. Oh my goodness. Well, let's hear that because, you know, the sooner we can get moving. Down. I will give you my father's corpse. Wow. Oh, okay. What's in it for us? If you slay Gorik, destroy the barrier, and let us inside. That, oh, you mm. see, here's now a see, No, 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 no. Shh, shh, shh. The proposition's not over. Shut up. Okay. Don't I'm talk. Listening. Okay. I'm still listening. I mean, we are guests here. Now, now, here's the kicker. My father was a great mage. He was a great, great mage! I can see that. It's, it's in his bones. He oozes! Literally. He froths with magic energy. He can't die. So that means his spirit is unable to leave and only left half partially there. Mm -hmm. The man is blessed. Yes. And you can pass that blessing on to any item you wish. That axe you just touched? Uh-huh. It was blessed. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't seem to be blessed when touching it, but lo, you touch it with your bare skin. And you too receive the blessings of the Evercrudge. Wow, that's incredible. And it has many of, many of blessings to give. Ones in which that you too could possibly pass death that we seek upon anyone who touches it in any glorious forms. For instance, let me see here. Let me see. Let me remember. Oh, my father was very fond of these blessings. He tried so hard. He's a, he's a real trooper to try and see if he could kill his dearest son, his loyalist of sons. Let me see here. Let's see. He like, Sounds like a real winner. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Of course. So let me tell Is you. Is there a window of, in this room? What are the, no! No, I'm asking you. <laughs> no! Oh. <laughs> One of the blessings we had, 
those who were blessed with my father's touch. They could no longer speak common. It burns them from the inside. Using their own voice to speak ruptures their lungs into a blaze of fire. He did that to one of his sons? Yes! That sounds really like... His entire chest cavity is split open in flame! There's, I've never heard of someone who went fifth degree birds, but it's apparently a thing. Oh, well, that's incredible. Oh, I'm really glad that did, that blessing did not get passed to me. Oh, I know. There was another blessing, too, that just turned you into a straight up slug. Wow, that really would have sucked, too. What do you mean, sucked? You've been a dear. Like, no, before. I meant like, you know, how slugs just kind of move along by sucking to the wall, like literally, you know. Well, sucked. I mean, we could have, we, we tried to see someone, oh, I know, S- Steve, we, he tried that blessing. We ate, his, we ate Steve. We still think he's still alive in most of us. He hasn't been able to put himself back together, but we, we kind of feel, oh, there he is. You, you watch as, like, his flesh kind of goes, oh, that was Steve. He tried to get out. Oh, Steve. <laughs> oh, Steve. Crazy guy. Crazy Steve. Crazy. So, uh, crazy. So, the so Evergrudge sounds I, real what I, impressive. What, I, what if, I have to as, offer. You know what? I, the, the Evergrudge, is, it has moved me to, uh, to charity, and I, I just I need to know. Evergrudge, here you go. And I, I have some hair dye with me, and I just dump it into the into the, the stuff. I'm just going to, to to give it some of my some of my possessions, and I and I just I want the Evergrudge to know that I am I am grateful to it and its presence. So I start with some hair dye. Uh, just I, I'm saying that this is just some fine liquid from the surface, and I and I just pour it onto the Evergrudge. What happens? This is. This is Ezra's curiosity getting to the best of him. He just wants to know what effect different objects have on this, so he can gauge what things would be good ideas to throw in and what. So would be I didn't. Bad. I didn't think you knew that uh, this trog, the the trog brood, was wearing had hair in any various places, right? <laughs> well, now you do because now it's blonde. <laughs> You you watch as there's like styling and it's gonna have more fun now. There's now a fucking comb over over the ever grudge that's blonde. <laughs> wow, look at that! Incredible! It's wow, it's crazy! I just, it, it it has been known to have that effect on some people, yes. and I guess you're one of the lucky few. Also, I pull out one of my soaps. Oh, my father looks absolutely ravishing. I have one of my soaps. These are some of our, our fine smelling uh, smelling oils from from the surface, and just they're they're usually great gifts and uh, you know a, a sign of Roll honor. persuasion. See if he knows what soap is. <laughs> uh, 23. Okay, he accepts. So here you go, and just drop a soap in there. It has been a day. You have an alchemy jug that we can just pour some random... I think I left the alchemy jug on the diving bell. Oh, did you? Yeah. You, you watch You watch as... Because uh, I didn't you think call, be you, you call back, kind of just goes... Well, it's not unicorn blood. It smells almost and tastes like animal fat. Well, it's what it's what the rich folk on the surface use to, to both cleanse and uh, make pre- uh, pleasant smells. The surface world's fucking weird. <laughs> Tell me about it. But in any case, do, 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 what do you think of my proposition? I mean, it's interesting. Like, we'd have to, like, the, the issue is carrying capacity. You want us to carry your father's clothes. No, 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 no. You can't take him with you. <laughs> Not right now. It would be after the deal is struck. You kill the unicorn leader, slay him in cold blood, Mm -hmm. and drop the barrier, and let us lay siege on the castle and devour all of the unicorns left. Now, I'm also... And then we'd give you my father's corpse. Wow. Uh, the other end of that, I was led to believe the unicorn was actually, you know, keeping all the water out. So, that... Might be a problem. Oh, that won't be a problem for you. Not for me, no, but for everybody else in prob... I mean... Are your people... Have you ever... Have well, you ever... That, well, that's why. That's why we would give you the chance. Before we slayed the final one, you may drink of the unicorn's blood and gain immortality. Oh, so, ah. so you wouldn't die from the crashing waters. You know, that makes a lot of sense. The problem is... Even though we might live, that seems like it would ravage the body. Something fierce, having that much water slam into you. I, I don't know. Course. I don't know what it feels like to drown, but I don't want to. Yeah. And I'm sure you'd have that feeling for quite a while as we swam back up. Yeah, that seems like again, full uh, with no disrespect whatsoever. 
I, I feel like I would rather us be able to secure our exit uh, before the barrier came crashing down. In other words, we're going to need to scout ahead a little bit because we hear yes. that there's something uh, around this way. Like at least one of these notebooks that we had told us that uh, there is a certain... There's a, there's a possible exit. Or at least a way to secure an exit better if we go this way before we take down the unicorn that will, you know, drown everyone. We have seen one of our own try to escape outside the barrier. Yeah, what happened to that? Uh, uh, that go. They got flattened into a pancake. See, this is what I'm talking yes. about. That, he... That's not great if you just have the barrier drop But he instantly. seems to be dead. He hasn't moved for years. It's probably because the weight of the water is just keeping him from him. moving him. Like, uh, my, my body, like, it's meant to withstand that sort of thing, but... The I mean, rest it, of must, us. it must be nice to be in a lulled slumber state of such. Maybe. I mean, you could always, you know, I mean, I'm not going to push anybody out of a barrier or anything, mm -hmm. but you could try. Like, it might feel restful. Tell me, I don't know if this might be the case, but you poise a very valuable question I'd like to ponder on to you. Okay. We were not able to go inside the wizard's tower off in that distance. You came out! Yeah, we swam, yeah. In, we swam in through a cave. Because you moment. obviously went through where yeah. the dragon is, and that's where the wizard's tower is. He's a total asshole, by the Tell way. Tell me, do you know if there's a way we can remove this curse and finally die? Well, the rumor I hear is that if somebody slays the dragon, ah, that was that in one That was something of the I notebooks. read in one of the books. I didn't bring that one with me, Of course, uh, we were not up for that. Like, we yeah, have to go yeah. farther we, backwards. We lack the immortality to face... Pavs Ravi, the legendary water explosion, I believe his name was. Water eruption. Water eruption. Uh, we, we lack the strength or fortitude to face him. But and the numbers. And, yes, and the numbers, obviously. Because even if... Also, it wasn't really part of our goal up until yeah, this point. Yeah, we didn't realize immortality was even on the table. Uh, but I would think a, a being such as yourselves, uh, uh, great in number and in lifespan... This and in fortitude. Yes, this dragon wouldn't pose much of a threat at all. I mean, sure, it would probably burn quite a few of your people, but in the end, I do hear that... I feel like you could wage war for, for years, but eventually lift your curse and uh, be able to enter through the wizard's tower and thus access the, the unicorn I'll that you see. Roll persuasion. I will help you. <laughs> Grant, please tell me that was a good goddammit. Nope. Because I got a 15. Nope, it wasn't. It was a very bad goddammit. It, it was a natural. Natural goddammit. wonders! I felt so good with the case I had built. What time have we ever decided that a dragon's blood might be able to stunt or even reverse the curse? I mean, the dragon is basically an opposite of a unicorn, right? I don't know. I've never heard of such a thing. I mean, that's, that's what one of the notebooks said. It's, I mean, it's always been the word on the, on the surface. It's, it's actually a common phrase on the surface. Dragons <laughs> are opposites of unicorns. Yeah. yeah. You're trying to compare these two things? That's like comparing dragons unicorns to unicorns, unicorns, dragons, right? <laughs> he like he super invades your personal space hey hey blessings of the ever grudge upon you stranger for passing this wisdom on to me Welcome. for we could finally die absolutely he spits in your face roll constitution blessings wake says through clenched teeth man Brocky, I don't know what you did to these die between last week and this week, but they are <laughs> killing me. Five. I feel like my... Uh... A five? Yes. Oh, no. Oh, okay. That's not I've a, become that's, a slug! That's not a great face. This shit got in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm going to go rally what's left of us who have some decent brains, and then possibly we could all finally die. Go, go on, go on. You, 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 you say you have something else to do. Yeah, yeah, please, 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 please go ahead. We'll, you, see, you, we'll see if we can do anything about it. Head this. on downstairs, I'm Act sure. By the way, would you, would you like at least for, for passing this knowledge on to me, do you have something you would like to imbue with this blessing? The ability Ooh, to kill you know things what? out of touch? Uh, is, that, is that the... Is that Oh, well, no, it's, it's, it's able to pass one of our blessings of oh, just death upon someone who holds the item with their bare skin. So something can't... Oh, okay. Pretty much what he's telling you yeah. is, is that you can, by, by applying an item to the Evergrudge, uh -huh. you can make that item cursed, and by uh -huh. touching it with your bare flesh... It like, like, it has to be an equipable item, like a jacket or, like, an amulet or something. Or a, a piece scaffy? of equipment. So it has to be equipable. It has to be equipable. It has to be a piece of item that's something that, that can you can be attach worn. on your person. It will never come off, and it will apply the curse. But it doesn't tell you what the curse is. I hold forward a couple of manacles. I like it. <laughs> there you go. Like, uh, some of these would be great. Oh yes, one second. He like looks over to his he looks over to his father. Opens his mouth gingerly. <laughs> Just working Just in there, dad. Starts punching his jaw closed. Like, get it in there. Work. Go. Yeah, get it in there, dad. <laughs> he watches his chest erupts open, and they pop up, and he hands them to you. Here you go. Excellent. I take them with my gloved hand. Wonderful. I add them to a very, I add them to, like, I empty a satchel out of my uh, bag, and I now put only that in that satchel. <laughs> yep, just gonna just gingerly close it. Wonderful, thank you. This blessing uh, will go far for... Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go march my entire civilization to their eminent demise! Yay! Hey. You may go downstairs and leave. Thank, thank you. you. We'll just... You got you it watch as the door mouth. opens as these two exit. And huh? all the trogs like you see one the one trog that I was just explaining to you uh sorry, I keep fucking up his name. Uh Ukolvac kind of like you watch as like this fat blubbering trog in a cloak kind of like materializes out hair. of the floor <laughs> from the street. Everyone readies their weapons. He screams up to everyone else, all the trogs look in unison to him. And they all go inside cavern holes into the mountainside. So we've had a day. <laughs> that looked like it went great. Oh, it was wonderful. It was uh, perfect. I cannot... Uh... How you feeling, Ezra? How am I feeling? You don't... You, no, uh, has uh, nothing uh, happened yet? Apart from some disgusting shit that went inside your mouth, everything seems pretty okay. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and rub a scroll of reverse, like, remove curse on your face. I don't think that's how scrolls work. I don't know, I'm not a magician! I've Red, Red looks to you, you have to read it. Do I have to read it? I, I might have gotten some cursed spit in my mouth. Yeah. Yeah, you would probably want to read it. Okay. Here you go. <laughs> I read it. You throw up, like, Fifty. Dub, dub, you throw up fifty slugs onto that paper. <laughs> you watch as they all. Is it working? <laughs> no, it worked. You were cursed. <sighs> so let me read the curse that you almost just had. Yeah. So what, what did the slugs do upon? <laughs> Over twenty-four hours of wearing the cursed item, the victim will have the following symptoms: the victim's body will reject water, the victim's body will produce moisture through the skin, and their skin will become pruned. The victim, in time, will shrink in size, and their speech will slur and gurgle. After twenty-four hours, the victim turns into a giant slug. Uh, part of me wishes you would pass those on, like, to me in confidence as the game was going, and I just couldn't tell people what was <laughs> happening. It was just a terrible game of who is lying during this D&D. Yeah, but I, f I feel like those scrolls remove curse. Yeah, like, no, now, that I, now I only have two of them, but... No, that was good. Uh, good call. I forgot yeah. I had those. So, all the trogs are gone, and you are free to move on. I am shocked! Out of character, real quick. That I rolled a nat one, and somehow they still went for that dragon. I'm... I'm Guessing your assistance stopped it. They from rolled super low and his <laughs> roll saved it. 
Well, I feel like that's as good a place to hold as any, frankly. Oh my God. Are we really at time? It's 8 o'clock, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, we're past. All right. Also, we still got some Q&A to do. Yeah, I was going to say, it's the first of the through. month, so. Yep. You know what? That's fair. Yeah. So, congratulations, guys. Apart from one more actual part of this entire thing, you have found all the optional treasure. Yay! Nice! Hey. <laughs> uh, I'm, I look forward to uh, what I plan with these manacles. <laughs> Might not come to fruition for a bit, but I got a plan. All right. Yeah, I like that idea a lot. All right, but uh, we uh, are not quite done here because we have some fan art that we want to look at here. Uh, some lovely fan art. Let me pull out my Twitter because it is always the last goddamn thing I do mm -hmm. because I never think about it. <laughs> do, 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 before time. So let's start off with number one by MFS Arts. We have. A Cleocatra screen as they're going to break the lovely Cleocatra. Natural wonders will return. Yeah, the natural wonders will be back after this. I just this. hear the fucking super fighting robot Mega Man theme <laughs> that, that. Yeah. Mega Man, back, back after messages. <laughs> back after just messages. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there's, uh, there's, uh, there, that, that is pretty much exactly how I expect, like, thought Cleocatra would be. She has, like, that, uh, sort of, uh, Egyptian cat esque. And then she's like ridiculously curvy because that there's hips always that a character don't lie. like that. Yeah. Those hips do not lie. All right. Thank you so much, MFS Arts, for that one. Lovely Cleocatra. Moving on, we have uh, Alex Norton doing this action wake shot as he is <gasps> getting ready to strike the death blow to the Bodak uh, by at comp M S G I I. Love the action shot, leaping in there. I love you can see Risp in the background reaching, like his soul's reaching back for his body. <laughs> no, like, no! I just want to be back inside. It's cold out here. Thank you so much, Alex. Next up, this one's a little further down. Yeah, uh, definitely aping Jack's art style for this one. We have <laughs> Zombie Decoy, whose commissions are open. Uh, Very cool look. Yeah, this is, a, this is a great pose for Wake, like getting ready to... Move into action. I like I like the spear design on this one too. Yeah. Yeah. Looks great. Thank you so I love much. The lighting on it. Zombie decoy. Yeah, I know the shading is great. Oh, yeah, shading. He's got he's got fish abs for I'm days. I'm not an artist. Good texture. Yes, delicious scaly texture. Next up, Marvel Poison posing <laughs> the question: What if Wake had a mustache? <laughs> this is this is Dad Wake. Dad Wake. <laughs> yeah. It's like all of a sudden it's like what I'm I'm gonna have a child. <laughs> Just the mustache just pops out. Yeah. Finally, my nose fin can get some stretches. I, I like the idea that. Somewhere... What do you mean? I've always had this. Yeah, he's always had. It. <laughs> I like it, just, it just comes out of his nose. I like the idea that somewhere in his physiology, there's just an invisible line in his head where the fins stop acting like fins and become more hair-like. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Once they pass a certain line, and apparently it's just a little above the nose. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's like it's, it's the eyebrow point. It's <laughs> it's around there. Thank you so much, Marvel Poison, the creator of our lovely flag for yep. this. Wonderful, wonderful dad wake, which made me chuckle. Next up, this one by Simon, uh, Simonson1998. We have Ezra and Scaffy here. I love the, uh, and it's in a watercolor <laughs> sketch format. What if Ezra was on the cover of a JoJo manga? Right? I was about to say, yeah. yeah, you got like the blue shadows there. Like, I dig this, like yeah, the gold that, and the blue going the into each other. coloring there amazing. Always amazing stuff, Simon. Always amazing stuff. Thank you so much, man. Next up, by Nova Blast 124 we have a little Chippy Nedra. Whee! Super excited. Just ready to beat some crap up. The bat. Just gonna beat the crap out of him. It's gonna tenderize. Thank you so much, Nova Blast 124 Next up, by Scandran in 01. Aww. We have a uh, half god. <laughs> we have uh, on his way to godhood slash cursed wrist. Kill it. High five. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so happy to see our boy coming to, uh, coming into his own. Coming to Godhood. Coming into Godhood. I feel like he would have had an interesting conversation with that thing that we just talked the to. Ever Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Next up by uh, Zero Man or uh, Proto Zero Man, we have a training shot of Wake and Nedra. I, li I like the she's like looking down. I'm like, am I doing the form right? Is this good? <laughs> I also like that they're. Uh, their elemental key, like yeah, Wakes is water and hers is fire. Like that that's what makes the most sense to me. Like what element they are attuned to. But thank you so much, Zero Man. Absolutely love it. 
Next up, uh, Caster's <laughs> Caster's book cover for when he finally finishes the adventure and is ready to tell the world his yeah. story. <laughs> By Tommy Rossella. I love that he's decked out like a fucking nineteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's decked out like a ni- uh, like a nineteen twenties uh, safari Explore. expedition. The thighs on this man. <laughs> 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 Edward Caster, the experienced dungeon crawler. <laughs> Are you ready to hear my tale? Uh. Uh, thank you so much for that one, uh, Tommy Rosilla. Rosilia. Next up, we have this shot of, uh, of Grammy and It, who I believe to have a very Tom and Jerry-esque relationship. Yeah. yeah. Like, whenever nobody's on the ship, she's just chasing him, and he's always just foiling her with chicanery. Uh, this is by Stacy Lenigan. I just love how calm it is. You're like, yeah, yeah, honey. He's like, finally, you little shit. It's mine. <laughs> this will be the greatest secret ingredient ever. Next up. Ooh, this is a bit of a ways down. I'm going to have to scroll down to it, but we have Risf. Uh, meeting the god of death. I love the depiction of the god of death in this one because it's like very <laughs> formless, shapeless, just this like mass monstrosity. I do have a depiction of the god of death, but I'm going to leave it blank for now so people can just <laughs> do their own interpretation. Yeah. Uh, this one also by Stacy Lenigan. Yep. Yeah, I love Riss face. Just like, oh my god. Oh. I love how tiny he is in this shot. Just yeah. like so he- insignificant against the void of death. He's just a soul in that one. Yep. Oh my God! What am I doing? Oh, thank God. you so much. <laughs> it's death. I know. I respect for all you do, but fuck off. Are you there, Death? It's me, Risp. <laughs> 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 thank you so much, Stacy Lenigan. Next up, we have oh, yeah. this shot of Red getting her soul choked out of her. Jeez. And yeah, she's got them hips that don't, they, they, they truly do not lie. Yep, they do not have proficiency in deception. Nope, they do not. Uh, this is by Menace Creed, uh, and their commissions are open, so feel free to look them up on Twitter, and if you want to find all of these and many more, feel free to follow the TFS fan art Twitter. Uh, I retweet these pretty much daily, and uh, we get a lot of great stuff, and you can always check them out on the TFS fan art streams, the fan exploitation streams that we have early on. Uh, I believe that is the last one, correct? Uh, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go grab my laptop so that I can join for the Q&A. And for those of you tuning in for the VOD, thank you so much for joining us at the table. We'll see you guys next week at the table. Woo!